Oh, it's been a little while. Uh, Red took a little vacation and uh, got absolutely plastered, but now we're back playing some Lancer. Uh, I am sober enough to be able to run Lancer successfully. Woo! So, uh, last we left off, I guess I'll let my players recap after we do introductions, of course. So, I'll toss it to the players to do introductions. Elise, you want to start us off? Oh, sure. That's me. Hello, friends and family. I am Elise. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Illustrate. I am an artist helping other artists do more art things. And um, it's my birthday on Monday. Yay! Oh, happy early birthday. Happy, happy early birthday. birthday. Give her uh, money. What? <laughs> God damn it. Gifts. Presents. <laughs> Um, I am playing Suki Morova, call sign Ogre, and I'm piloting a Baylor. Indeed. You're pi piloting a Baylor, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Hush. <laughs> cool. Omni. Hey everyone, I'm the last Omnitech, your favorite robot American. Nice to see you here. Uh, I'm an artist, world builder, uh, game writer. I, I'm a jack of all trades, I do everything. I've um, been working on my own tabletop setting for like 15 years, and I stream three times a week. And I'm even running the Mouse Guard campaign on this channel every other Wednesday in like two weeks. Um, but I play Gentry, and Gentry pilots an Arbalest. Ooh. So, uh, sorry, pilots Arbalest, which is an Everest, sorry. Uh, so yeah, there you go, that's me. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. I do pilot an Arbalest, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, I'm Natalie, um, playing Arkin, who is manning a Manticore number two, I believe. Hmm? Heck yeah. Um, yeah, you can catch me here on Saturdays playing this and Covet Syndicate, and I'll be playing... Um, Mouse Guard as well on Wednesdays. Yes. Oh, really excited cool. about that. And you can find me on Twitter at Ledsoso Beans. That's about it. Awesome. Uh, I am Derek. Y'all probably know me by this point. If you don't, hi. Welcome to the channel. Um, <laughs> I play uh, Re Rikard, call sign Black Knight, and he pilots. Uh, well, he doesn't necessarily have to do too much of the piloting. Um, he can if he wants to, uh, but most of the time he just kind of kicks back and lets the uh, the AI, the onboard AI, kind of use the systems and, and pilot the drones and what have you on a Hydra. Cruise control. Yeah. But in a mech. I put a lot of thought into how I'm going to be able to do some shenanigans and have the, the mech control itself while I go and do other shit. I think I finally figured it out. Black Thumb Protocols, go. Before I even have to get Black Thumb. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm interested. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I am your uh, D GM uh, tonight. I am Red. Hello. I like Lancer. Uh, let's get into it. So, <clears throat> last we left off, um, you guys had just... You had went north, responding to a call. So... Want to try and recap? <laughs> I'll give you accuracy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, um, I remember we arrived in the area and we're kind of looking around. And I believe we got attacked first. Is that yes. right? Yes. You were ambushed. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we quickly started retaliating. And I'll let someone else continue. Just probably just remember that you have an accuracy to use. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to our last accuracy pool. I don't know where we left off, so we're just going to restart from zero. So, folks, spend your points if you want to give the players accuracy. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> um, I believe at that point we were engaged by a number of mechs. Um, we had this one dude who was like a jet show up and I shot him down and 
tried to escape, but I remember two catching. Uh, Suki caught the sniper. Oh, it was the sniper <clears throat> Suki caught. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. Then. Good. You give yourself an accuracy there. Mm -hmm. There will be downtime, by the way, because I don't remember what you guys spent or what you had in reserves, so we're just going to do downtime anyway. Um, yeah. But, anyway. If uh, either of you two would like to recap on the end, at least. I do know that the fight was hard. Right? That the fight that broke out was pretty difficult. And, as I recall, we eventually negotiated our way out at the end. Um... One of us, I think, got the we got jumped on by a uh, particularly dangerous enemy mech, and we spent like a, a good five minutes bantering back and forth with this mech at the end of combat after we had the initial force all dead to rights. Oh no, they, that was a, that was the session before. Session before, okay then. Mm, that, the, the, uh, the, uh, it was the same guy you found out. It's true. But, yes. um, he he was like hardcore messing with natalie <laughs> right <laughs> and uh doing the dual thing which honestly that's one of the coolest freaking feats that you can take in uh and i remember but... that that was fun it was cool then um, at least i give it to you because it's been so long my brain is absolute porridge. i can remember like fragments of it you know yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys like a full recap to like piece everything together when we're done but go, go ahead and give yourself an accuracy on me because you did remember the uh the uh, particular fellow. Oh, well, thank you. Accuracy. Click. We also had the uh, the pilot show up as well, so they were all hands on deck to get revenge on us. Which pilot? The um um the the ace pilot fellow. We don't know his name, and I um actually don't know. If we figured out what kind of mech he was piloting. He was piloting like a corpo type ace. It wasn't anything particularly special. It was like a mass produced type thing. Yeah, he was trying to run circles around us and he just got shot out of the air. <laughs> he did a lot of work before he did get shot out of it. <laughs> oh, God. Or aerial oh. bombardment and whatnot. Yeah. We're... For some reason, they knew that we were coming and we don't know why yet. So. Um, after that, we hooked up with the mayor of Shago, Call, and he's letting us hang out in his hangar and rest up before we go out to, um, check on a woman, and I didn't write her name down because I'm an idiot. Uh, her name is, um, uh, Reed. Reed. Yeah, she has a problem that she needs our help with. She calls herself Captain Mary Reed. That's right. If you get that reference, good on you. If you don't, well, look it up. <laughs> you got Google <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> she she was a a very infamous pirate. Oh, nice. In the golden age of piracy, she was also a lesbian. Interestingly enough. Ah, yes. Can I get some queer representation in my mass murderers, please? Yes! I love pillaging and killing the British ships! Let, let's be real, most of them deserve it. A hundred percent. But yeah, no, that's like saying Jesse James like killed a bunch of people and they deserved it. Uh, but they kind of did. Uh, so let's see. This is damn. Okay, you guys... Um... You guys know the name of the uh, Atlas mech that was um, bothering you. SSC Atlas, which is a type of friend. I'll reshow that to you. Um, oh, yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all coming back. Now it's coming back. That guy uh, juggles like a fucking Tekken character. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Zuki also imprisoned the, uh, like, sent the... You, you got the sniper pilot, run away. Yeah. 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 This was Do the I get an run. accuracy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was just like fully recapping where we. So Runaway was captured. So you've, you've gotten quite. You've gotten two of the team members. You got Salvo, who is the pyro, and you got Runaway, who's the sniper. Uh, you got Salvo in a session previous to this one. I don't think you got anybody else, though. I think other people got away. Yeah, the, the pilot got away. What did you just knock on the ground? <laughs> I can't, 
cat knocked my stapler off the desk. One of, one of you scanned Voltaire, if I remember correctly. Because you, you, like, did find out, like, what his speed was and stuff like that. I think that was me. I got a lucky scan roll on him. Is that yeah, Vol recall? Voltaire was the code name of his atlas. And, uh, you have that information. You don't know what to do with it. But, uh, yeah. Right. You can kind of figure that this guy, since he's, like, pretty hyper elite, <laughs> he might be a lieutenant of Captain Mary Reed. You don't really know. He might just be working for... But you don't know. So you're in Shago City right now. Shago City has a population of, like, sh just shy of 500,000. So it's, like, the most populated city on the planet that you know of. And, uh... <clears throat> the mayor has invited you to stay at his mech hangar, and it's pretty cramped with all your mechs in there, but they're making do. Um, there are two mechs in there um, already. Actually, three, sorry. There, there would be um, his Drake, which is that massive shield-wielding chain gun mech that I showed you from last time. Uh, that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? A Tokugawa, which is a an HA mech, and uh, at least, what does that other character pilot? Um, she pilots an SSC mech, I remember. Yeah, it was I the can't... morning blade, right? Morning cloak. Morning. I think it was the morning cloak. Let Did she check. pilot a morning cloak? He was a morning cloak. Okay. I could be mistaken. I think. No, it's it's not a morning cloak. It's a. Is it a metal mark? No. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. It's a dust wing. Yeah, dust wing. that's right. All the SSC mechs sound the same because they're all weeby. Because <laughs> they're all named after butterflies. Really I'm not even joking. That's I didn't actually think true. About they're that. all yeah. they're all named after butterflies. There's literally one called the Monarch. That's yeah, that's a cool one. And the Black Witch and White Witch are both references to uh, well, references to butterflies as well. So every one of them is a butterfly reference. Butterfly. My sugar fly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You guys remember that song in Scooby-Doo movie that Sugar Ray did? I do Which my one? best every day to pretend that movie didn't exist. <laughs> what? That movie slaps. What? The fucking Scooby-Doo movie is good. What is wrong with you? The live-action Scooby-Doo movie with uh, yeah. the guy from The Thing who plays Shaggy. The guy? Yeah, the dude. <laughs> The Matthew, fella? Uh, yeah. Ma <laughs> Matthew Lillard? Matthew yeah. Lillard, yes. Thank Lillard. You. Dude, that's first. The, the, yeah. Oh, He's a big Magic the Gathering fan. Senior. Really? Yeah, he yeah, likes D&D, too. Oh, that's cool. He's a very cool dude. I'll never I had a hard time getting Kings. him not to cuss on stream. It was really funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I will never forgive that movie for making Scrappy do 3D. I didn't need that. Anyway, yeah. that's it. That's the But Velma looked hot. Velma was gay in that they, movie. They Every nail. Velma's hot. <laughs> anyway, so. I watched a video about it this week. <laughs> Rick, not, not Rick. that kind of video. Wait, no, not that kind Rick, of video. Rick. No, wait. Oh, no. That sounded uh. completely... Derek Yo, is down was, bad for that. It was moment. on YouTube. It was it was like a like a hundred uh -huh. facts that you didn't know about that movie. Okay. Uh huh. I know you're saying, Derek. You're oh, good. No, I mean, what? I don't need a YouTube video to tell me that. Anyway, um... what do you smell, brother? White man. How do you know? Video essay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Also, hey, Alec, like, hey, Bone. Oh, hello. You, Hello, you really cool set yourself up for that one, Derek. I did, I did. <laughs> Watch this cool video on this website with, like, the orange banner, and it says it's, like, hub oh, something. Yeah, it's on, like, on the hub. The hub. <laughs> 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 oh, anyway, so, you guys have your downtime. Uh, you want to roll, uh, you can either decide how you want to take, in what order you want to take your downtime, you can take downtime together. This is a giant city, by the way. This is a city of 500,000 people. It's not, like, fucking New York, but it's, like, it's a sizable city. There's massive buildings and stuff like that. Where's our max? Uh, they're in the hangar. Okay. They're currently in the hangar, and then the hangar is this massive, like, well, Derek would know, like, an Air Force-type, like, hangar, you, you know, and it's, like, attached to a larger, uh, kind of brutalist yeah. 
building. I mean, I imagine it'd probably have to be like multiple stories high or like built multiple stories into the ground to like house multiple mags, right? Oh yeah, like it's like it's like a it's like a garage. It almost like kind of descends, but it like has the ability to open up like a football stadium, like if it needs to like you know store things. It has a modular roof. So yeah. right now it's fucking huge. It's like a hundred feet high because. A lot of the mechs in there are like 60 to 70 feet tall, so you need plenty of clearance. That's fair. But yeah. Oh, Omni, did you use your super gun that I, that one use gun that I got from nope. last time? Nope, I'm he still sitting on the, I'm still sitting on the caster rifle shell, so. Okay, yeah, dude. Just what I'm going to totally be calling that for the foreseeable future, the caster round. I do not uh, know why this game always makes me think of Metal Gear, but it does. Mm. <laughs> Is there a way I could secure a connection for him to get like one of those a mission to use, like a resource fall back on? You you want a specific resource? Yeah, like so I could set up for him to be able to have like one of those a mission instead of just one of those that he's gonna hold on to and never use. Okay, so you want to use like um. Let me think. So, so there are certain weapons you can only use, like during, like, what's the, what's the word I'm thinking of? There's systems you can only use like a certain amount of times. You could get like an extra use of that or something like that, or you could get like a reload. You know, stuff that reloads like one use weapons. I think some of your drones have like one use things. Mm. I could be wrong. I'd have to pull up CompCon and double check. But yeah, a lot of drones have one use features. Like <clears throat> technically, the uh... My drone, my reloader drone, only has a one-use feature, but it can be collected at the end of combat and reset it. So, but if I can't recover it, then it, it counts as being destroyed. You are a Hydra. See, see, what that would be is that you would get an extra use of something like your active. So, like, all four of your drones are deployed. Mm -hmm. uh, you get, like, an extra use of that. I already have two of those. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just pitching you out ideas. I don't think you're going to need to worry too much about that, Derek. As it is, I'm very soon going to have the siege rail or the siege cannon, and that thing's going to basically be just objectively a better gun. Okay. So I think it actually does as much damage as your caster rifle does now, but for every shot. So uh, I'm just well, trying to find uh, one of these called reserves. I'm trying to get, get, give you some examples of stuff that you'd actually use. You know? um, right now. Yeah. Reserves. So it'd be like extra gear, ammunition, support, reinforcements. Actually, there are three mechs already in the hangar. You can make a connection to get an extra mech to come with you on a mission. Or something along those lines. Um, information. Like, you could get information on the upcoming mission. Um, if and when there is one. Um... That sort of thing. So, so stuff that would be like, oh, the, the, if this character is supposed to be hidden or this is supposed to be an ambush, I know that they're there, so we won't get ambushed. But <clears throat> there's no specific rules that govern what a reserve is. So something could be like, oh yeah, I'll give you a reserve that you get one free full repair. That sort of thing. Okay, I get it. Or you brought extra ammo for somebody that might need it, you know. Cool. Okay, somebody else go. I need to think. Okay. We can roll. I like rolling. You can roll, if you want. Or you can take it in whatever order you like, just as if you have something in mind, by all means. Uh, we can go over the downtime stuff again, because it has been a month, and we're still new to the game, so that's okay. Um, so let me pull up downtime stuff. I can read off everybody the downtime actions, uh, give you a brief synopsis of each of them. Power at a cost. Obviously, power at a cost is you get whatever the hell you want, but I get to punish the fuck out of you for it. Um... You could literally be like, I want to harness the power of the sun. I'll be like, okay, but you die. So, uh, <laughs> no, no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be that mean. Uh, buy some time. Uh, so, like, uh, something bad happened. Something bad's happening right now, which would be these bandits keep attacking consistently. So, if you wanted to, like, keep them away, buy some time. That's something you could do. Gather information. That's very clear, you know what that is uh you literally just get information get information could literally be like i'm personally researching something for my character so like for example natalie's like i'm trying to research my mm -hmm. character's part for being a badass lancer but i also want to be competent while doing some cool like sideways gun type shit so she could be like 
getting in contact with other actors and stuff like that. That would be an example of good information. Get a damn drink. Uh, a lot of you have gotten damn drinks. Uh, so you just you just make connections, gossip, forge your reputation, and uh, usually something not so good comes out of it. So um, get creative. Get creative is uh, you try to make something or tweak something. Uh, Omni's character would definitely try to do something like that. Sort of like uh, do a mechanical type shit make something brand new hell even Derek's character might try to make something brand new like make a new type of drone that we can sort of talk about and work out uh get focused yeah, yeah sure why not yeah. <laughs> I'm open for anything I love it when my players throw me homebrew <clears throat> so um get focused this is something that you want to if you want to improve upon training a skill this is something you can actually do so um Whatever you're trying to practice or train in, I'll give you a plus two trigger based on the new skill that you're trying to get, even if it's not written down. Um, but you could have something as simple as like uh, plus two to playing chess or plus two to dancing, you know, stuff like that. Um, just anything you could think of, even if it's not if it's not there, it's a brand new skill. But um, get organized is uh, you state your organization's purpose or goal, choose a focus, military, scientific, academic, blah, blah, blah. And... Uh, you start gaining influence and efficiency. So you literally start laying down the ground marks for a company and then you start building it up from there. Um, Can I do that IRL? You already mm -hmm. have. Um, <clears throat> get connected, make connections. Uh, that would be the sort of thing that Derek was talking about, like talking, getting in contact with somebody to get sort of help, information, etc. And then there is obviously scrounge and barter. If you want to go digging through the trash. Okay, I think I think I know what I want to do. Okay. Do we want to roll d20s? Or do you just guys want to go or, in whatever order? I'm good with that. I'm down with the 20s. To do that. Okay. I like, I, like, me, I like rolling. It feels more organic. Dice is fun. Dice is very fun. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm just going first. <laughs> I don't like dice anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, so... Do, boss? All right. So, uh, once Junchi drops off his, uh, drops off his mech and Scald is secured and good to go, the drone is getting back to work, repairing it and reloading it. Um, he's gonna turn to the city and see if he can't find a way to get in contact with some of the other protectors from Euphrates. Uh, so I think he's gonna probably try to do get connected. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I think the contact we're going for here, if I can, I'm going to just double check to make sure I have this written down. I should have this all buried across multiple Discord pages, so pardon my mess. Perks of having a Discord notepad, you never lose it. Negative of a Discord notepad, it's just as messy as a real one. Uh, here we go. Okay, so he's going to try to see if he can't get in contact with Javelin. That was the old leader of his uh, section of the Protectors on Euphrates. Okay, and this might be a long-term project. Just giving you a fair. fair warning. Oh, I'm aware. Which I is fine. Think. If you want to set up a long-term project, I encourage you to do that, because there's payoffs, obviously, for it. Straight up. I definitely want to. 100%. Okay, so you're getting connected. Yes, sir. Are you using a trigger for this? So, let's see. Uh, Anything you can man. bullshit me with, I'll definitely just roll with it. That's fair. That's how I am with all... You, you know, that's how I am with every fucking game we play. If you can bullshit me a skill enough, you can do it. That's very fair. Uh, I always forget about Spot, but I think Spot actually might not be bad for this. Um, let me just see if I can... Yeah. So, I think, yeah, we'll use Spot. So, he's going to try to... Uh, I think he's going to be plowing through, like, a bunch of different uh, star maps. The big thing with him is, so, I guess I'll wheel this back. Gentry, as a protector of the Euphradian people, when Euphrates goes through these crises where they lose their world, they go into, for them, they call it, uh, they, they kind of just go through, like, a period of exile. So, they have a diaspora, and I think they're, like, on their fifth diaspora. So they've gotten pretty good at, like, just bailing from the planet and going elsewhere. So he's looking through the star charts to see if he can't find some high-quality ones of uh, Euphrates, and specifically in the star system, the Pleiades, where uh, he can find out if he can, like, inspect and see if, in fact, the Diaspora was successful. And there's 
Lancers hiding out on orbitals somewhere in that system. Okay, so what you're doing with Spot is the way I'm going to look at it is you're going to like a database center in the city, which there's at least three of those uh, stuff with Omni hooks that connects to the Omni net and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what you're doing is you're trying to find something that might be relevant to helping you along your way. So I'll say Spot's pretty appropriate for that. So go ahead and give me a roll, please. Perfect. 17, Chief. 17 is pretty good. Let's see how we're doing here. And you're trying to get connected. Yeah. He's just trying to find out the great... I think the idea for him is he's saying if the network exists at all anymore. It's just... And he has to start from scratch. Okay. So, in this specific case, you were trying to get connected with a specific person, but you need to get connected with another person to get to this person. So, you're probably going to have to get connected with the um, owner of this establishment first. So that's probably what you're doing right now. Just okay. And uh, by spotting something, you 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 spot, you, you find your general system. You 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 find exactly where it. Is. You 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 basically have it ingrained in your memory exactly where it is. And uh, you sort of pull it up on your data pad and show it to this uh, to this fellow that owns the establishment. And I'll let you uh, bullshit as much as you like. Okay. Uh, so. Uh... So Gentry steps into this place and uh, he sort of immediately call, he immediately like starts calling up like the system, sort of seeing if he can spot it. And eventually he goes to the owner at the kiosk and sort of pulls out a pad and holds it out to him. Uh, oh, hey, mate, uh, can you do me a favor and take a look at this? Yes, I um, want to find out as much as I can about this system. Do you have any, do you have any way I could access star charts of this uh, high quality? I mean, like... We're talking a couple billion megapixels, preferably. Uh, I need to be able to inspect the orbital paths for something. I know it's a bit of an ask, but uh, he kind of just like shrugs sheepishly. He, uh, the, the the person at the counter, uh, they were sort of they were turned around and they had like these really aerodynamic like hollow arms and legs, and uh, you turn around and realize they weren't quite a person. Um, they had this sort of like artificial face that had a projection you could it had a very almost imperceptible uh uh field over it that made it look like an actual mm -hmm. face and uh they, they would lean on the counter and look up at you they, they looked like a uh, just a probably one of the most average looking male faces you could think of and uh they, they'd lean on the counter with their metal arms with soft thud so what you're wanting is for me to help you out with these star charts here. Yeah, it's pretty much the long and short of it. All right, then. <clears throat> you pick it up and start looking through it. What's your name, shooter? Oh, uh, you can just call me Gentry. Call sign Arbalist. Gentry. I'll call you Arbalist. You look a bit like one of them... Uh... I wouldn't call you a mech jock. You're a bit too uh, sophisticated looking for that. Lancer, maybe? We don't get a lot of those around here. Yeah, you're not wrong. I am. I'm uh, out here from Podunk, middle of nowhere. I guess you could say I was... What's the word? Deputized, I believe, would be the local term. So, yeah. Uh, Ow. Lovely little planet. Yeah, it is pretty quaint. Except for when the, uh, um, you know, bandits start acting up, but usually don't get a problem with that. I'm John, by the way. Holds out a hand and shakes it. And you still see, like, enough of the augmentation on him. He's mostly human, but there's enough parts in him that have been replaced. It's kind of like a Metal Gear Solid kind of thing. Like, we're not at Raiden levels of all these parts are fake, but we're on the way of, like, there's a lot of work that's been done. Um... Hmm. Well, he, uh, this guy obviously would not care about that sort of thing. Consider he, he's right. got like uh, synth <laughs> skin on his hands, so he could do de more delicate work. But uh, m his arm is literally like almost ho pra practically hollow. It's like scaffolding, uh, and he, he'd give you a firm handshake. And you could see some like uh, some weird bits of mechanical stuff, like tense up, and the wires would sort of tense up as well as he shook your hand. Nice. John is J O H M, by the way. Okay, John. J O H M. Thank you. You are welcome. Bartender. 
so this guy is a so he's the owner of this uh, info hub i believe yeah okay perfect he is the info he, he is, is the info, info. <laughs> <laughs> he is the critical information i lack uh <laughs> all right uh yeah I'll, I'll show you where to look or if you can find somewhere that would have the kind of data i'd need to look through it i'm not exactly into astro navigation as a casual hobby it's someone else's job really, but circumstances they are i gotta make do sure boss he'd uh you'd see him pull out this like sizable wire from the back of his head and it looked like it looked like one of those uh computer like motherboard wires that you would hook in has like little square holes in it and he and he plugs it into the uh tablet that you handed him and uh he's just going to stand there com like completely still for a moment he's going to swipe a few things tigress in you phrase interesting okay so what's exactly you want to do you want to get in contact with somebody from there uh preferably yeah the problem is not on Euphrates anymore. Uh, there's back channels I need to access in that system, and they're not easy to get in contact with. I just need to see whether or not they'd exist before I take the risk and reach out. If that makes okay. any sense. Come back to me in a week, and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks, Chief. Much obliged. Gosh. He uh, nods and smiles and walks out and sort of <clears throat> pulls his duster a little close as he walks out the door. You made a contact. Good job. Hell yeah! <clears throat> Part one. All right, uh, Suki is up next. Um, yay, that me. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna get information, and I would like to interrogate, um, Runaway. Oh, sniper. Sure. Yes. Let me. Uh... Okay, by all means. You, uh, they're, they're being, obviously they're being held at a, uh, detention center. Um, the detention center. Thank God they don't need more than one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. The, uh, there, there'd be like a, what looked to be some sort of beat cop work in the place. He had a, he had a checkered uniform to sort of like let people know that he was police and he had a, he had just a, a wide brim hat, mostly just to keep the sun out of his eyes because it's intensely hot. On the planet. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like it is in Texas, and Woden keeps opening the blinds, causing a glare and allowing heat into the room. Woden, get away from the freaking window, please! <laughs> please, dude, come on. You're a fluffy dog, you're not supposed to like heat. <laughs> he likes looking at the window because it's more interesting than looking not outside the window, which I understand, but like. It's only a few hours during the weekend. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to... No, you're fine. Sorry. Read it in, Woden! Come on! <laughs> play it here, man. Also, just in case you forgot, the name of the planet is Anteros, and the city is called Shago City. Thank you. Appreciate that. Have you tried explaining to Woden that you didn't buy those $20 Eclipse curtains for nothing? Luckily, they were included with rent, but that just means that he thinks that um, he's entitled to break them. Mm. Mm. Me too. For and I shame. explained to him that when he breaks them, I actually have to pay for them to be replaced. He said, I literally could not give a fuck less. I can see the bottom <laughs> of my food bowl. Why are you even talking right now? They don't charge <laughs> to replace them. I feel like they probably just keep your deposit. <laughs> No, well, it's just part of those stuff that they have to replace. Wear and tear. Like, if the sink breaks, they don't charge us to fix it. Oh, they charge us for the blinds. That happened. They did? Yeah, I don't remember if I told you about that. I might have forgotten. <laughs> 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 Coming out on the street. all covered with rent. To be fair, it was her cats that broke them, so... <laughs> so now they're her children. Uh, yeah, they're my cats when they break stuff. They're our cats when they're <laughs> cute and cuddly. That's that's right. Yep. You, I'm glad you see things my way. Uh, Alright, Elise, what are we doing? Um, okay, so Suki isn't just gonna like barge up and be like, hey, let me see the prisoner. Um 
she's gonna pay a visit to the mayor man first. The mayor man. <laughs> yeah, mayor man. Okay. And get an authorization via slip, bracelet, glow stick, whatever is needed. They give you a digital pass because this isn't the 1990s. Are you telling me <laughs> I can't get my pass via glow stick? My bad. You have to have that cool, like, uh, bioluminescent tattoo in the back of your head. Sick as hell. Okay. Like Chuck E. Cheese's or a Dave and Buster. What do they do with Chuck E. Cheese's? Do they, like, staple something on you or something? Yeah, they just <laughs> staple a post-it note to your forehead. They take a staple, they take a staple take a, gun and just go... <laughs> they just take a nail gun and just put a post-it right through your hand. You never lose it. That's really good. <laughs> Nobody chucks the cheeses. <laughs> okay. She's gonna show it to the guard. And just let herself in. You just give her a nod. I need to open up the door for her. Okay. Well, you have this prisoner sitting in front of you. Um, I would like to roll take control for my okay. trigger. <clears throat> because I'm trying to be assertive, not just threaten this person's life. So that, um, that's going to be a d20 plus 4, and I'm going to use my accuracy. Okay. This has been a long time coming, and Suki is not pleased. Oops. I what typed in that. I, I typed in backslash ol, not backslash roll. Ol 1d20. Ol. I'm just building suspense. That's you why are. You're just thing in the top of it. Uh, 19. 19, so. Okay. You're getting information by intimidation. No, I'm using take control. I'm, I'm not using threaten. Take control is kind of like firm, not quite intimidation, but like, it, it's being it's being firm. Pushing it's, authority. It's like command in in Dark Heresy versus like intimidate. Do my bidding. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so gather information roll a nineteen. So shy of a tw just one shy of a twenty. I'm so sad. Okay. What is the subject? What are you? What exactly are you trying um, to gather? And you can use this information as reserves. Okay, I'm trying to figure out more about Runaway's employer, um, the employer's goals, how they always know where they are, um, what their connections are on this planet, etc. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You rolled a 19, so you're going to choose one of the two, and then we will roleplay from there. You leave clear evidence of you rummaging, or you have to dispatch someone, or implicate someone's someone innocent to avoid attention. Um, I will leave clear evidence... Because, you know, that, that just seems like the most, makes the most sense. Sure. <clears throat> so a lot of people know that you're doing this. You made it very clear that you were doing this, even on the scene. So yes, that does make the most sense. So, I'll go with that one. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Rise and shine, sleep and beauty. She was just sitting there, and uh, for whatever reason, they gave her, like, a small rubber ball, and she was sort of bouncing it off the wall. The prison rooms weren't, like, like Wild West concrete and iron bars. They were they had, like, <laughs> actual beds and tables. There's even a TV. Damn, this place looks nicer than mine. Do you want something? Yeah. I'd like to get to know you. 
brain. I don't. Particularly your employer. Wait, you think I'm going to rat him out just because you caught me? Him? That's a good place to start. It's pretty obvious it's a him. Is it? You've encountered him twice, are you stupid? Oh, so it's... what was the name? Voltaire? Sure. If that's what you think his name is. His call sign. He just shrug, bounce the ball off the wall and catch it again. Pilot. What about it? What about pilot? The flyboy. What about him? Is he your employer? Or is it the guy in the atlas? She shrug. I don't know. <laughs> so he bought out a sigh like she was quickly losing patience. Who's your employer? You don't have to tell me, I already know. It's a bit of a rhetorical question. She'd nod to herself. I only have so much patience in a 24 hour period, and you're quickly burning through today's. I don't mean to be a contrarian, but the rotation cycle of this planet is, um, 27. Okay, she's gonna open the cell door. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and she's gonna let herself in. Make yourself at home. She gestured to, like, a shoddy-looking chair that was sitting in the corner. <clears throat> She's gonna catch the ball while it's bouncing in the air. Stick it in her pocket. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> and uh, take the chair and pull it over to face her. Put her elbows on her knees. I got all the time in the world. What are you even doing? Are you just the sheriff and the mayor's little toy soldier? What are you, what are you supposed to be? She's gonna sit there silently with her elbows on her knees. <laughs> she just shrug and lean back against the wall. She's going to play that game with her a little bit until she can get her to talk. Even if it takes a few days. Okay. <clears throat> well, she's not going to talk unless you're asking questions. We can do a little gap for a couple days. Okay. She's been working on her. You must be getting paid pretty good. You just tight lipped. I'm getting paid well enough. Also, I'm not a traitor or a snitch. I know snipers have the reputation of being cowards, but I assure you that I am not one. So, how much are you getting paid for sitting in the cell? Enough. Probably more than you for going through all this trouble. But you're not, because you're in the cell. I'll get out eventually. Is that what you think? You think I'm going to be here forever for doing almost literally nothing except for shooting at some nobody like you? <laughs> That's funny. I can't hear you. You need to speak up. <laughs> You're funny. I like your sense of humor. <laughs> she wasn't laughing or smiling. <laughs> That's the joke. You 
you... You really think you're getting out of here, huh? She'd nod. <clears throat> One way or another. Can't keep me here forever. Sugi Obi. Considering that. You're right, but I can think of somewhere where I can keep you forever. And why is that? <laughs> I knew somebody who'd be very happy to receive a download of a human brain. Not much up here, except for a lot of trauma. I don't know if you'd want that on a disc. No, but snippets of that would sell for a lot of money. And I can think of a uh, priest. I'd be very happy to pick through it. So what do you want me to tell you? Who my employer is? What does that even gain you? Tell me about them. Who they are, what they do. Wands. And then I just get out, scot-free. We'll see. No, it's not we'll see. Those are the conditions that I am setting, and that's how it will be, or you'll get nothing. Then I can find out by force. And then you'll still get nothing. I'm not going to talk. I haven't been trained as a Lancer to be some nobody that just gives up information <laughs> all willingly. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me. I'm giving you the option to tell me. Truth be told, I don't even know that much about him. He's gone by a lot of different code names, that's for sure. Nobody even knows his real name. Not even, not even anyone in the group that we work with. And we like to keep it that way. We don't really know each other's names either. It's professional, strictly. I'm sure a lot of you... Uh, Sit around and have little tea parties and introduce yourselves. I'm tired of you running your fucking mouth, so I'll just say this once. You are a mech jockey, I am a lancer. You are shit at your job. Tell me what I want to know. You're disgusting. I hate you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Suki, Suki's, Suki's very limited patience is running out very quickly with this, <laughs> so this woman. Instantly I hate you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I may be bad at my job, but I am not as bad as you. If you want to know about my employer, look up the name Fencer anywhere on the Omninet. It's practically a ghost. I wish you luck finding any concrete information, because even I don't have that. The name of his mech is Voltaire, you dolt. Do you know anything about Voltaire? It's ancient philosophy. Of course you don't. You're a glorified I'm, computer. I'm gonna get a pair of handcuffs and uh, take this lady for a little walk. <laughs> I'm tired of her running her mouth. She's gonna take her up to the to, up to her neck and um, basically, um, how shall I say, um, Jerry rig a connection just to plug her brain into her mech so she can just figure out what she wants to know manually. Okay, that's gonna be an entirely different downtime action. Okay. That's gonna be power at a cost. <laughs> Fair warning. <laughs> Is, I, 
I'm still getting information. You're because... getting exactly what you want with mm -hmm. only like with a consequence. Because ga gathering information, yeah, you got information on the guy, but you the only information that on the subject that you had about the employer is that he's a terrorist. He's gone. He's gone by several names. Nobody knows his real name in the group, and you can all uh, you can quickly figure that he's paying these people a lot, and I mean a lot. Of money. Eh. That's, oh, that's like I'm nothing sorry. really useful, though. Well, you just because you got it from her doesn't mean you can't follow up and look <laughs> things up on the Omni-Net. So, you, you know that this guy is an eco-terrorist, and for whatever reason, he has bucket loads of money. Don't really know why. He's pissed off every major organization in the known universe. And for what? Ethics? Politic? Protest? He thinks a lot of himself if he's naming his Mac Voltaire. Yeah, he is pretty pretentious. You can assume that much. So... <clears throat> Sorry, Google Docs is crashing on me. There you go. A clear piece of information you could gather is that this guy always likes to have the high ground. You find this on a blog, sort of talking about this guy. This guy's sort of like worshipped amongst like I don't want to say this, but it's funny. Like incel communities, they sort of like look up to him mm. the way that a lot of people look up to the Joker. Uh, <laughs> he, he's you're just like, look at how cool he is. Yeah, he look, he's got the high ground. Look, he's like snuck up on somebody and stuff like that. This guy's a really sneaky fighter. So the uh, gather information, the reserves that I'm going to let you have is that you cannot. This guy cannot get the drop on you the next time he encounters you. <clears throat> you will okay. know where he is. Because you know, because with your with your information, you you did roll a nineteen, so you rolled pretty well. Um, obviously, you left clear evidence in the way that you talked to this woman, and now you're having to go online at a local Omnet thing to like look up a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, you're leaving a pretty big trail. So no he's, what you to do. he's an eco terrorist. He's a sneaky fighter. He's an eco terrorist with unknown reason. Like, like the, nobody knows why he is the way that he is. Maybe he's just straight up evil, but, and he likes literally just stirring up shit for fun. But you don't know. He might just be a glorified thug that has a shit ton of money and too much time on his hands. You have no idea. Nobody knows. Everybody likes to, all these people on the Omnet are like interpreting that, oh, this guy's like actually a hero. And he's like to taking it to the bourgeois, you know, it's just like, but nobody really knows. He, he, he's attacked union ships. He's attacked uh, HA colonies. He's literally attacked HA freighters. This guy's incredibly dangerous. And the way he atta like frivolously attacks things, there's like an entire um, like Wikipedia type thing about this guy and all the attacks and like the excursions that he's had. He couldn't be that old either. But because all this stuff has happened in the span of 20 years. Mm -hmm. And he didn't start small either. His first attack was on a prison colony. Completely wiped out all of the guards and freed all the prisoners. That says something about terrorists if they're that prolific and people still don't have any idea what the fuck they're fighting for. Yeah. This guy's methods and reasoning and ethics are just... Assumed. He's not a philosopher. You can't really like read and you can't read quotes that he's had and like assume the way he thinks. Wait, he doesn't have a manifesto? No. Oh. People just kind of assume that he does certain things because he's just like, oh yeah, the HA and the union are tyrants. It's just like, yeah, but a lot of people think that, you know, so it's like, maybe he is just in it for the money. Maybe he's in it because he got screwed over when he was a kid. Who knows? Nobody knows. But the thing you know about him is that he does not fight fair. He got in it to be killed specifically by us four. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is led up to this point. All God, you know so that is, is that his bounty is worth that of an HA freighter ship. Oh boy, that was interesting. 
<laughs> that is uh, that right there is some Conrad Kerr's shit, though. I, I did. I did tell you just to get my ass killed by this person this day, <laughs> and I need to be there because I don't want to be late to my own funeral. But uh, you guys do know that his bounty is so huge that you could afford pretty much anything you would want. A, a, a fully decked out freighter ship. But why, why would you get a fully decked out freighter ship? You're not a military organization. But I want it. But that's fair. I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> um. Okay. And well, let's see. So our kind of our, our goal, more or less, our sub goal is to figure out why the hell he's on this planet and what he's trying to accomplish. Yep, must be something going on pretty serious if he's on this, uh, what could be for easily perceived as a one horse planet. So if this guy's showing up to something like this, he's either scraping the bottom of the barrel or there's something really big and serious going on. There I say insidious. Okay, um, I'm gonna call a little team meeting and inform everybody of everything I learned. And some of those theories that, um, there's something going on here that we don't know about. I'm gonna also invite the mayor to our little team meeting, see if he knows anything. <clears throat> okay. Okay, are we gonna roleplay that, or are we just like... Um... Well, I don't really feel like repeating all of that in character, but... Okay, but we could just say it was not... Mare doesn't know anything. Okay. Mare's heard of the guy, but that's about it. Mare's also a Lancer, so... Oh. Of course he's heard of the guy. Who's he pilot? Uh, a Drake. It's, it's yeah, it's the big Drake, the big gold Drake. Yeah, oh, big Drake. that's the mayor. Okay. Yeah, that's the mayor. Yeah. Okay. There a defense grid like abandoned on this planet, like suborbital. That is something you could look for. Oh, and ask the mayor. Well, oh, okay. Have him. Okay, the mayor. The mayor would pretty much be straight up with you. Just be like. Yeah, probably. There's a lot of old companies that came here about 10, 10 years ago. Sometimes even before that, dropping probes and shit. There's probably some sort of defense grid or something like that around. I don't know if it's anything like city spanning, but something that could probably block out in a mile radius. So there's satellites. Yeah. Okay. Well... I mean, they would be definitely carrying any kind of transmissions of, you know, when he might have arrived. <clears throat> True. I mean, I think the other question is, why are the Lancers fighting? If the answer's all just money, then fair, but... They're not Lancers. They're a bunch of glorified mech jockeys. You guys are Lancers. They're Suki. dipshits. <laughs> Suki looked like she was about to say the exact same thing. <laughs> Alright, fair. Look, mech jockey, call it what you will. Point is, whoever these, whoever this person is, they're calling a bunch of people to fight for. And these people seem to be loyal to him beyond the calling. Like, really? They, they gave you that much guff to try to just find out more details? They could have just led with, I don't fucking know anything, the guy's secret of his shit. I mean, I'm not particularly one for, like, you know, intimidation tactics or interrogation for a straight conversation. But you shake someone hard enough and eventually they give you what they want, so... That doesn't seem like just anybody. It's almost like you folks haven't ever fought for anything other than money before. I mean, he's... He hasn't... Oh, silence. From what Suki was telling us, this is true admiration and loyalty that these people have for him. They might might be paying paying them for their services, but that everybody's got to eat. I think this guy actually buys his own bullshit. 
question is, what is it? Right? Like, that's the trick. And also, I'm going to overlook the whole never fought for anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to ignore that part. But <laughs> as far as the rest, I would agree with you. It's not like I haven't seen fanatics before. Fanatics have an agenda that's spelled out. You normally don't go throwing yourself on hot coals for nothing. And these people seem to be doing it for nothing. Because they don't know what their agenda is. They don't know what they're for, who they're fighting for. They don't know anything about this. Beyond the fact that apparently they're willing to invoke the dude and then give us some lecture about how we might be on the wrong side. Of what? what what's the fight? What's the war? Who's the other team they're fighting against? Because if it's just random just ball planet, no offense, Mr. Mayor, then what the fuck uh, is, you know, what's the objective here? Right? Where's the battle lines? Because I'm not seeing it. That's my point. No, he's got one. That's what I'm thinking. I've been here for a <laughs> months now, and I don't know what the hell's going on with all this. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of uh, call signs and nicknames. Nobody knows if they're actually applicable. Nobody knows if somebody just came up with it. What if we try to find this out from the inside? Yeah, I'm working on that. Well, I mean, if a bunch of idiots are finding their way in this dude's employ, what if we maybe offer him the services of an actual answer, not just some pretender? I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess not, but if we do need to have an, a mech that's not been deployed yet, I technically have a Barbosa license I haven't really used yet. Are you skilled at espionage? I'm pretty skilled at fighting and getting places quickly, spotting things. Lying, not so much, but I mean, what's there to lie about? Being honest. <clears throat> Mech, I'd like to be hired. That isn't entirely wrong. I, Just... If this guy is good for like a fraction of what we can find on him he's gonna see right through you and eat you alive let's um, see let me go over his names with you real quick to give you the idea of like how this guy is he'd like <clears throat> sit, he'd like hold the data pad up and clear his throat <clears throat> minuteman militia irregular legion poet fencer voltaire uh Locke. And my favorite, personally, the Butcher of Palmyra. Whatever the fuck that means. Like an ex of mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, one of you guys can make uh, some sort of information check to uh, identify what Palmyra is, if you'd like. Uh, yeah. Yes, I would like to. What, what's that going to be? Any sort of check you can give me. for a Apply fist to faces. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You punch yeah. yourself so hard you remember. Would, <laughs> would, uh, so hard he tells us. <laughs> would Spot be applicable again with like the whole my character browsing star charts in the past? Maybe he's come across that system in the past. Uh, I'm gonna say no. That's Natural right. one. Natural I'll one. just roll a d. I'll draw like a naked twenty, then d twenty. That's the oh. case. It's like a general skill since it's anything applicable. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thirteen. One. Uh. Suki, you're pretty sure that Palmyra is made up. Uh, <laughs> uh, Arbalus. Regis situation. Oh, I guess I would say I would have a 15 as well. Okay. Uh, Arbalus and Rikard. Um, one thing that you know immediately is that Palmyra was a very, very fine oasis planet out in the middle of a bunch of planets that were inhospitable. It was a union center. Uh, it had a population of easily about 30 million people and uh it went offline in the matter of a week well, you oh. butchered 30 million people. 
Do oh. we know what happened to the planets afterward, or has no one gone to investigate? Uh, the planet's basically a smoldering apocalypse no. full of nuclear fallout, so like, I don't think anybody on, would want to go and investigate. Bullshit. It's not very ecosystem friendly of him. Eco friendly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, something tells me this person's more interested in the fight, or winning a bigger fight. Wait, you're know. telling me Palmer is real? Well, it was. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? Hold on. It, it was. Past tense. It was. The rock's still there. The people are dead. The city'd still stand, but, you know, like a... Oh, hold on, last, last I heard Palm there, it was supposed to be, like, heaven for colonists. That was, like, a decade ago. Well, yeah, that was a thing. Before the place got, you know, nuclearly annihilated. What the fuck? Well, okay. To be quite fair, people don't know if that was him. People are just blaming it on him. He's kind of a scapegoat. So, if he did it, he did it, but I don't know. I don't see him being a nuclear cavalier. Doesn't seem to be does, like he's here to clear his name. Does that does that fit with his MO from what I know so far about him? Not really. He mostly just causes insurrections. He doesn't wipe out entire planets. <laughs> He's wiped out entire, like, fleets of, like, military personnel. Oh, no big deal. That, yeah. But, like, he... If it was him, that probably explains why his bounty is so ridiculously high. Because he murdered tens of millions of innocent people. If it wasn't him, he's getting blamed for it. So you don't know. This might be a freedom job, then. So weird. Was he, did he, was he particularly active before that? Or was that the first time he really came up in the net? He buffs up the data pad. Mm, no, this would be three years into his career. What else was he doing at that time, if I might ask? Let's see. He caused an insurrection abun amongst a bunch of trader guilds. That kind of lines up with what he does. Um, fought back the HA on a planet called Helios. Do you, have a galactic, do you have a galactic map, by any chance, available for me to use, quickly? Uh, not in office. You'd have to go to one of the Omni hubs. I, know, I might know a guy for that. <laughs> if these things are nowhere near where this is, then... Can we... And he sort of just blinks for a second. Did we just go from hunting this man to clearing his fucking name? Then he just sort of stands up and starts walking to the door. I'll be back with that. Uh, could you send me a couple of those reports to my uh, pad, if you'd be so kind? It's like... He just give me a two-finger wave, like, sure, boss. Oh, let me let me uh, re-show everybody what the mayor looks like. This is Mayor Call. Oh, man. Good-looking mayor. Seriously. <laughs> None of, care, none of there, uh, characters this are ugly. mayor? None of my characters are ugly. That's not true. Look at well, okay. BFT is a handsome fella. I shouldn't. Be yeah, no, he's great. He's great. <laughs> he's got he's got a lovable face. One hundred percent. No, he that reminds dude reminds me of like you told an AI to make that one dude from um, Pawn Stars if he was a biker. <laughs> it looks like he's a, he's, Chun, he's the is that his name. Chun Li. Chun Li. Yeah. <laughs> He's literally. <laughs> you're right. That's a weird one. That's amazing. This guy is literally the human equivalent of Lotso Huggin' Bear from Toy Story 3. Like. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, he nods. Uh, if anyone needs me, I'm going to go back to the Omni Hub, but. Keep me appraised of this. This is weird as hell. Nods to Tsuki. Um, so you soon opens the door and locks yeah, it. see you around. Alright, well we got other downtime to do. 
Let's see here. There's been so many rolls since the downtime. Okay, uh, it was... Oh, Ami did his. Suki. Riker, it's your turn. What do you want to do, boss? I want to frigate. <laughs> Power to <laughs> cost. <laughs> Give me a ship. I can't say no, but are you sure about that? Can I do a long-term project to reduce the consequences of being frigate? <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, you could get a frigate, but you'd be in, like, crippling debt. But, if you get it, you can get a frigate now, and then if you turn this guy in, pay off that debt. It's not debt if you have it for 50 <clears throat> seconds. Mm hmm that's just a credit score. <laughs> yeah, True. A bit. Or you could just get the frigate, uh, turn the guy in, never pay them back, and then leave, and then be on the run. <laughs> and then we see, have a bounty on our heads. See, but, but I wouldn't really match your MO <laughs> of being like, a good guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to develop a resource that's like a long-term thing that I will be able to like bring home to my people and be like, look, I'm being productive. Look at how good your son is doing. And also, um, you know, we love, good love me, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeking your <laughs> approval. Basically. <laughs> By building a fucking ark. Look, I have a ship that me and my friends ride on. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just get the ship? <laughs> I think we can wait. We're still going to be stuck on this planet for a little bit anyway. It makes make for some interesting plot hooks, though. And yeah. I could get fire support from it. Mm -hmm. You could. Also, it would. System. I think the more versatile thing would be that we would be able to go wherever the hell we wanted. Mm. And not, like, have to bum a ride. So... Yeah, we're ahead. not, like... <clears throat> Slowed down by the speed of our mix. Because those things ain't making to orbit. And those things are not making it beyond, like, maybe planetary orbit at most. We're not getting, like, beyond the moon or something. Okay. You want to get your hands on a very, very sizable ship. I don't want I it to just be just... sizable. I want it to, to be able to provide fire support. And, most importantly, I want it to have a space for a nexus for my AI to chill in and be able to hop into mechs like relay points. Ooh. I don't know why I thought you were going to say something goofy like an ice cream bar. <laughs> I imagine that the amount of death that I'm taking on is kind of a gift. <laughs> like at the Ferrari store, they give you that jacket because you're buying like a $95,000 car. Yeah. <laughs> like a $500 jacket. Yeah. Okay, so... Let me see here. Obviously, this comes with consequences. Mm. You're, trying to, <laughs> you're trying to get a massive ship. Uh, I'm going to give you two of these consequences. Um, <clears throat> so, you're trying to get your hands on something. You've named what you want. You can get it. But, um, one, it's going to take a lot more time than you thought. Mm -hmm. you can't just instantly get a freighter ship mm -hmm. and oh! <laughs> don't you boo me I I'm right uh... getting your hands on a freighter ship it's either you find one put it back together, steal one loan one you know, yeah, there, there's, or print time. one yeah, <laughs> printing one is like one of those Hey, I have a 3D printer at home. I'm going to make a one one scale replica of the Empire State Building. Printing time should be done in 40 years. First okay. time chatter, uh, Han Rogan. Boo. Uh, <laughs> shut up. VIP. Just kidding. Fucking Logan coming in here. Mm -hmm. He's, he, he was messaging me in the back. He's like, you're not even live. How am I supposed to watch you? <laughs> Just send, you the, send him the link to your stream. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I, I'll, I'll give you some choices. Um, hey, Logan. <laughs> hello, Logan. Um, Hi, JJ. It's gonna okay. So it'll either take a lot more time than you thought, and you'll need more information to proceed safely, okay. or I'll give you these two consequences. 
Actually, I'll give you three for this one because this will be funny. Uh, more role play, by the way. It's going to be really damn risky. Um, you have to give something up or leave something behind, i.e., wealth, resources, or allies. And on the fucking planet. It's going to fall apart damn soon. So you can get one that's working, but barely working. Nah, I'd rather have a good ship. I want to come okay, home so with a good ship. So it's going to take a lot more time than you thought, and it's going to be really damn risky. So getting your hands on a ship, um, I can actually tell you exactly what's going to happen. You're going to be scanning the environment with your good old friend, uh, what Leon is what we named him, right? Yep. What he named himself, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, so Leon's going to help you scan the environment, and uh, it's going to it's going to take a day, but he's going to wake you up at like four in the morning. Sir? What? I've located the shell of a freighter ship. It is actually mostly intact. Mostly? Indeed. Salvage rights? Mm, not quite. Who do we have to take them for? Let us see. I do have a name here, so... <laughs> you do not hear the sound of flipping paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which would be, would be funny. That sounds like a great hilarious. loading noise. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if that is his loading screen. He opens a book on screen and starts mm -hmm. flipping. This technically has um, finders keepers rights to one Mary Reed. The same woman that we're after. Well, I yes. suppose that she'll be extremely grateful for us saving her. Do you think hmm, grateful enough to part with a ship that she's not using presently? You could always just take it from her, sir. She is a bandit, after all. It would be a good thing to do. <laughs> Morally upright, dare I say. Well, we can't just go around allowing bandits to have a freighter, not can we? Yes, we just take things from them. Like they would take the law things from bad people. Yes. Indeed. We're good people, so it's okay. We are we good it. people, sir. <laughs> it says it's just floating <laughs> skulls talking to you. We're good people, sir. Good people. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Me justifying illegal activity with my AI. <laughs> a lich in his pet skeleton discussing the finer <laughs> ethics points of mass murder, stealing yes. massive things. The, li the lich, word. yes, the lich and his demi lich little brother. A lich lit. Lich lit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not calling demi liches anything else now. <laughs> They're all lich lits. Oh, ah, yes, hello there, lich lit. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's cute. It almost sounds like a slur, though, so I don't know if I want to say it anymore. Um, yeah. No, I'll make, I'll stat it, and then it'll be okay to say. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. So what are we going to do, So Are we just going to, um, take it? Are there any signs of life on it right now? Yes, sir. Boom. Mm, I'm counting 100. Probably bandits, then, huh? Indeed. It's a glorified hotel. At the well, moment. I suppose if we just strode in there and offered them employment, that might work. They've never had an honest living in their life. Maybe an opportunity to, like, you know, not have to fuck people over and risk getting killed in the line of duty. Maybe they'll be amenable to it. I don't know if they know anything about stellar sailing, but... Imagine we could probably teach them. Perhaps. Perhaps, um, sir. Such a ship of uh, prodigious size requires a crew of 100 or so. Perhaps offer them a business opportunity. It would be like not sending them to prison uh, in a colony, a prison colony, of course, but we'd bring them back into society. Yes. Like good law enforcement. And if they disagree, like good law enforcement, we just... Then kill them. Kill them. <laughs> Wonderful, Virgil. <laughs> Wonderful, Leon. This is... Wonderful, Virgil. Cool. Sorry, Virgil is the name of a character in the fucking campaign that I played before this one, and he's... <laughs> I'm sorry. He's, your companion. No, he's your not guy. my companion in that. He's, he's an angel. Uh, but he's, like, oh. the one that has, like, all the information, basically. Um... Oh, that's why that got cross threaded in my brain for a second. All right. No worries at all. I'll just never forgive you. That's fair. <laughs> <clears throat> Wonderful, Sam. Summary executions are our specialty after all. 
So I guess I need to roll something for this. Um, nope. No? Hour at a cost, you just get it. Fantastic. Then now I, you have uh, to convince a hundred people to be your shipmates. I do have a trigger for that. I take control. When the time comes, it will be useful. <laughs> Okay. be very useful because you're trying to convince a bunch of people to turn their backs on their captain 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 mary reed is without a doubt a lancer you mm -hmm. know that for sure then they're used to being threatened by lancers uh leon warm up crux we're going for yes, a walk sir. as you wish so <laughs> <Except for me. laughs> we're going to go take a bunch of shit that isn't out <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's ours. Um, okay, oh, no. so who that would leave Arkin, Natalie. That this is your downtime. I actually liked the suggestion that you had about uh, further studying my role as a lancer. Excellent. Okay, mm -hmm. let me write this down. <laughs> You're gonna go find Sam Elliott again. <laughs> Sam Elliott. Oh, you mean Dutch? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? No, Sam Elliott, the actor. Oh. He played all those all, in all those Western movies. He uh, has the big mustache. He played the oh, uh, that's right. The guy in the Big Lebowski, like the dude about. <laughs> Spam smell it. If I'm gonna beat out Lake Blithely for this role, I gotta <laughs> quit. Lake Blithely. <laughs> Lake Lake is actually a, like a decent name, though. <laughs> Next generation of white people are just going to be named after bodies. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be on. I'll, no, no. Okay, okay. Could you imagine a kid with the name Ontario? That's fucking rad as fuck. Yeah. City. Oh yeah, these are my two children, Ontario and Ottawa, and this is my daughter, <laughs> Hudson Bay. <laughs> Hey, there's plenty of guys named Dallas and Houston. Like, those were names I met a guy before the cities. Guys, I met a guy named Stetson. Yeah. yeah, all of those were names before the cities, Natalie. Those I mean, were, well, that's the those problem. Were named well, you don't know that Ontario wasn't a name before it was a city. On Ontario, there's no way in hell that that was somebody's name. I'll Google Isn't it, right it now. American or Indigenous? It's, 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 it's oh, yes, this, this, is, this is my uh, this is my cousin Saskatchewan. <laughs> Ontario comes from the Iroquois word Canadario, meaning sparkling water. So uh, Natalie is right. It is an Iroquois, which is an indigenous tribe of people that lived here before. I see. See, maybe they named one of their kids Sparkling Water. Yes, and this is and this is my Lacroix. I might name my kid Lacroix if I have. Natalie, ever we're not having kids. Knock on the fucking coffee table right now. Well, then you don't have to worry about me naming them Lacroix. Oh, you're gonna name the next name. dog. I care about having kids. <laughs> and here's my child, British Columbia. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, so so you're okay, so you're looking for a local actor. Okay. Me. So you're going to make a connection. Like a, a, a Ron Franks type of actor, you know, who played a role similar to Saving Pri Private Orion. <laughs> Private Orion. 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 Orion's bad. Orion. <laughs> I, I simultaneously hate and love the references that you make. Great. Your puns are spectacular. Oh. What I'm here <laughs> for. I can't I'm think afraid. of them at nearly the speed you do. I, I, I pre think of them. I, I have a list. She actually ran that one by me earlier, full disclosure. I'm <laughs> <laughs> thinking of doing that and saving planet, Ryan, but <laughs> I ultimately went with the other. Yeah, or going with Private O'Brien, personally, yeah, to make the Star Trek joke. Saving, uh, saving really? Private Orion has been my favorite so far. That's <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you two choices. You can either get connected in a sober way, or you can uh, get a damn drink and make connections that way. I think I'm going to be sober this time, because being drunk last time didn't work out so well for me. You lost everything but your dignity, I think. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. 
Because material possessions are so last millennium. Oh my god, I can totally get more of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get connected. Uh, you are trying to get in contact with a with an actor, a local actor, uh, on a one-horse planet. They're probably making shit like Sundance indie films, but, uh, you know, that that's, that's a thing. It is. Okay, so I will give you a name it, here. Is there, like, a zoo exhibit or something where we can see this single horse you keep referencing? <laughs> <laughs> the one horse to rule them all. It's the horse from, uh... Uh, close enough. The really like chubby blonde one. Oh really yes, Mr. Pit, Mr. Yeah. Pickles. Mr. Pickles, that's his name. But why didn't? Did they? Did they realize what they did when they? I think that Mr. was Pickles? a. I think that was a reference. Oh, <laughs> I God. really felt like that was a reference. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna find an actress named Margaret Hill. Don't remember seeing her at the last Galaxy Golden Globes. Mm -hmm. Golden Galaxy. Golden Plane. <laughs> the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the, with the, with the Gala, get it? Um, oh, yes. oh <laughs> Galaxy. Galaxy. Matt Galaxy. <laughs> Matt Galaxy. We just lost a viewer when I said that. <laughs> I, yeah, but honestly, I don't blame them for leaving. Uh, we lost two viewers. We don't viewers. want them uh, here if they're not here. Okay, um, roll a d20 for me. Uh, if you want to name a trigger to get in contact with someone that you would use. Uh, let me look at what I have real quick. For folks in the audience that don't know, triggers are skill checks. But these aren't necessarily skill checks. I have the perfect thing for that. Get a hold of something. Acquire temporary or permanent allies, assets, or connections through wealth or social influence. Okay. Absolutely. You definitely have social influence. Oh, it's going to give me a plus two. Oh, that's 20. Oh, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. you guys. <laughs> they so clearly see. know who I am. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, Miss Margaret Hill here, um, she is a uh, woman with uh, pallid skin. So she somehow manages to keep pale skin in this sunny, uh, blazingly hot environment of Anteros. Uh, and she, you know her, she's an indie film actress. Has actually done one notable film. Uh, I can't come up with a cool, funny pun like you have. Uh, uh, let me think of one. <laughs> Call it Late Winter. Electric blue is the warmest color. Electric blue. <laughs> that's that is so perfectly shit for like that's not, that like works for an indie. No, film there's, so there's well. no, there's there's literally a really really popular indie made film about um a woman with blue hair called Blue is the warmest color. That what? sounds like a name of an indie film. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> What's it about? Um, French lesbians. Uh, Perfect course it is. Uh, so it's an indie it's film. It's an indie song. film. Of course, it's about it's like soft fucking... porn. Okay, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> this is art. Hey, you see how they're scissoring right now with their clothes somewhat on, but kind of off. Yeah, this is art. Okay, I but... actually believe that's one of the few films in cinema that has unsimulated intercourse. I don't want to say the word and uh, get the stream flagged. Oh, they nice. thought. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool, dude. Nice. So it is. It, so it is literal porn. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, Margaret Hill did a film called Late Winter, where uh, it is a, an apocalyptic type thing where Antros turns cold. I see. Is it is like it nuclear winter or? What's up? Is it like nuclear winter or? No, it's like literally like if the planet moved away from the star at the center of the galaxy and it got like ice cold. Oh dear. Is this planet like Scottsdale, Arizona, but like the whole planet? Yeah. It's more like Phoenix. Okay. Just hot as fuck. That's kind of the vibe I was getting. I just wanted to know. Sorry, now. I, I was yeah. just like thinking of like Ode Odessa or something. <clears throat> see. You. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're sort of. Since you're you're arranging a meeting with her because you're trying to get connected, uh, so where are you meeting? Are you meeting at a restaurant? Are you reading a? Uh, are you meeting at a uh, a hotel? 
Maybe I'll just go visit her on set. Oh, okay, sure. I am an actress after all. Perhaps I can also impart some wisdom not to oh. her. Um, this place has a very avant-garde name. Uh, it is uh, Fiate de Sol. I will not remember that, but okay. <laughs> Got it. Don't worry. People just call it Sol. Um, S-O-L. Soul not, rolls. Not, not not in reference to Souls Roll. <laughs> yeah, there's this really <laughs> there's this really cool guy that's like in his late thirties that runs the theater and he like can do everything. But yeah, no, wow, that was, <laughs> that was dick sucky. Anyway, uh, so uh, she's sort of you see her sort of just sitting in the audience as like these really lame a- actors are like doing a read. They're like, "Hark, hear my name!" It's just like really fucking bland and shitty and. Uh, the- so it is a porno. <laughs> <laughs> Hark, look upon mine peener. <laughs> look upon thine shaft. Uh, and, and like this woman is just sitting in the audience like pinching her brow like this is fucking awful. <laughs> well, I walk in. I see her. Margaret, darling. She looks I- up. <laughs> walk over and I do the kiss on each cheek. (laughs) She has really long, like, acrylic nails, and she's like, oh, darling, it's so nice to see you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. Uh, How long has it been, I say, even though we've probably never met? Uh, Well, it's been never, but I'm glad we're meeting for the first time. (laughs) It's quite exciting. It's been never. (laughs) Quite right, quite right. So what brings you here? Oh, you know me. I'm always uh, researching a role, which is what I'm doing here now. Indubitably. Welcome to the Theatre de Sol, or we call it de Sol. Yes, yes. Quite uh, nice. (laughs) As you can see, um, there's a pitiful performance going on. Mm. Uh, Yes, there um. Certainly doing something over there. They're young and stupid. It's okay. <laughs> oh. We were all young and stupid once. Some people never grow out of it. Like the mayor. <laughs> ah. See? <laughs> Tr- so, throwing shade on the mayor. I'm here for it. Yeah. Um, so... So you can get reserves out of her. What, whatever you may think would be appropriate. Maybe just sort of like an extra use of your uh, protocol or something like that. <clears throat> she can't give you equipment, but she can sort of like give you inspiration and stuff like that. <clears throat> Since she's just an actress. Um, but uh, because you got a nat 20, your contact, she is going to help you. No strings attached. Okay. She's not just an actress, she's an artiste. (laughs) I'll take some type of inspiration. Seeing the terrible performance here has inspired me to continue to be better than they are. (laughs) Darling, you're already better. (laughs) Mm -hmm. True, true. So this movie you're doing, it's some type of post-apocalypse thing, is that right? Ah, yes, I'm now performing it on stage because somebody wrote it into a uh, a, uh, a, a playwright wrote it into a screenplay uh, mm-hmm. from the screenplay down. Uh, personally, I think that screenplays are much better so you can edit out weird noises and the like. I tend to uh, snort a lot when I laugh and I can just edit that out. Oh, yes, true. Hmm. Interesting. Seems a lot like that one movie, Space Day After Tomorrow, with Blake uh, Willem Hall. <laughs> that movie's fucking terrible out of character. I fucking hated it. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was like a blockbuster movie. It wasn't made to be it, serious. It was a Michael Bay flick, right? It was, it was so shit. Like, <laughs> guys, so the environment, bro. Seriously, you guys. That's basically that movie. <laughs> you guys, seriously, please, you guys. Come on. Guys, please. We need to run away from the CGI wolves. Please, I beg you. The computer wolves will get us. They'll suck us into the Matrix. Uh. <clears throat> anyway. Sorry. 
<laughs> no, you're fine. I just fucking hate that movie. <laughs> uh, she's going to shake her head. Oh, that movie was a travesty. Mm. Bad production. Two actors died. Really? Yeah. There's like because, there something about that. Because they, they kept have to, playing with loaded guns. Mm. Did they have to clone him to cover the whole thing up? Mm hmm. It was a big mess. Mm. Well, that's what happens when you have amateurs running the show. Indeed. <clears throat> well, you should come back sometime when I'm actually doing a performance. It's much better than uh, this drivel. Mm -hmm. I would quite enjoy seeing your performance. You are in the lancing business now, aren't you? For now. Again, researching a role. You know how these things go. You're a natural. You can do it all, can't okay. you? Of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should try, um... You know theater, of course. You should try... some theater techniques whilst you're in your mech. Perhaps that will be interesting. Footwork mm. and whatnot. Facing sure. the audience. Facing away. Mm. Not a bad idea. She'll consider it. If your back is to the enemy, they're probably less likely to pay attention to you. <laughs> it doesn't sound quite right. Well, give it a try and let me know. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Anyway, pleasure to see you as always. Kisses. Ciao. <laughs> this, this woman secretly hates you and wants you dead. Well, so yeah, far, the two people that she's gotten in contact with have given her, like, really shitty advice, but Natalie's gonna roll on that 20, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Even Arkin picks up on the frenemy situation of it all. He's like, oh, yes, yes, I'll definitely try that. Well, knowing full well, she's not going to. Doing the opposite of that thing that you suggested. Walks out like that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can give yourself, uh, you can have, I'll let you have a little accuracy pool. <clears throat> I'll give you, uh, since you're rolling at 20, I'll give you uh, 4d6 you can use however you like for accuracy. Well, thank you. You are very welcome. Mm -hmm. I feel like accuracy pools are a good reward. No strings attached. Okay, yeah. I think that's all of our downtime, and I think we're at the hour and a half mark, or we're a little bit over hour and a half. Okay. Um... Do we want to take a little break and then sure. come back? Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, don't go anywhere, anybody. We're going to take a quick 5 to 10, and we'll be right back with more Desperado, a Lancer actual play.
everybody. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for your patience and your waiting. Brad, what's going on, homie? Hello. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we just got done with downtime. I did not expect downtime to take uh, just shy of two hours, but that's okay. We like roleplay here. So um, you guys are going to get called out on a mission, obviously, since you just had a, a brief stint with that gang that you've been dealing with. Um, now, um, a couple of days have passed since you guys have begun your downtime action. Some of you have completed yours. Some of you are in the process of completing them. Uh, Derek's downtime action just so happens to align with what's going on in the story. So, uh, his downtime action will be actually a big part of the mainstay missions now. I did so. it. I won Lancer. You won. Uh... <laughs> but, I won Lancer. So, um, you guys are getting called out. Um, not by the mayor, but you're going to get a weird frequency. Uh, let's see. You're going to get a weird frequency about midday, about 3 p.m. Who's the quickest to respond to their data pad? Roll d20s. Huzzah! D20! What the fuck? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> and we got another fucking nat 20. God damn. In a row. Yeah, in a row. I wonder what those are like. This I know. Is I'm sorry that they're for this, though. Roll 20 never fucking gives me nat 20s. It's only the stupid D uh, D&D Beyond dice roller. <laughs> it's fucking true. So, you're getting a request from a person under the code name of Seismic. Mm-hmm. What the hell do they want? You know? What does the message say? Or... Is it oh, just they're, try- a- they're trying to call. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I pick up. <clears throat> this is Arkin. Seismic, got a bit of an issue here out by uh, the lake to the north. Uh, you know, not uh, like a mile away from Reed's compound. Uh, there's bugs. Ew. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ew. like giant bugs. You hear, oh. like, this, you hear like this buzzing nearby. Um, what kind of bugs? Like wasps or? No, they're they're mech sized bugs. Um, I don't like the sound of this. Is there someone else you can call? <laughs> I've sent a frequency to Shago. I don't know why you picked up if you're not willing to help. Uh, fine, fine. Um, I need to get ready first. Give me like five minutes. Okay. And then I just... Please be quick. It's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a problem. <laughs> Here I have Pacific Rim music building in my head, and then, guys, we have a problem. <laughs> What's the issue, Arkin? Um, there's like bugs or something by the lake. I don't know. What's this whole thing? Do we look like exterminators? Well, apparently, there's the size of mechs, so. No, I wait, guess we're wait. exterminators. What side of. T- you said by the compound that we're going to? Um, yeah. I think so. About a mile out. Guys, we're gonna go take care of these bugs. No, we're good. Rouch is check in. Head out, check out. I'll be ready in a moment. No one ever watched Men in Black when they were a child. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no, I've just seen it. I've seen it. I couldn't place the reference. No, oh, you're good. I just thought it was the Roach Motel. It is. It is. Yeah. Uh, Double the, reference. The mayor's going to ring you guys up as you're getting into your max. So, I uh, heard that call. You got it? Shut up. Great, because both of the lancers that I have here already are asleep, so have fun. Mm-hmm. Right. Just what I was waiting for. I'll hold down the fort. <sighs> you could practically hear the uh, leather of his chair sort of like relax as he. <laughs> <laughs> God. This world is like fucking 
this is practically Powerpuff Girls levels of calm in the face of utter oblivion. <laughs> mm. Like, Powerpuff Girls, there's a terrible cookie monster downtown. You've got it, Mayor. Great, I'm going to work in my golf swing. Mrs. Bellum does something vaguely booby in that direction. Vaguely booby? <laughs> <laughs> It's accurate. She breasted boobily. She yeah. breasted boobily <laughs> so over the off camera. <laughs> Huge Tom uh, Hungaroos. Tom Kenny is, in my mind, a short man. <laughs> okay, Lancers. <clears throat> You're heading north. All right. <sighs> Ready. Let's do it. <clears throat> you hear You hear the sound of uh, what a sounds to be anti-air weapons like mortar fires going kum, kum, like it's constantly launching and you hear some explosions and a lot of buzzing sounds like fun Uh-oh. sounds like victory <laughs> this isn't the kind of things i thought we'd be going up against doing this is this normal you guys <laughs> uh this isn't cool enough well, this is the first I've heard of giant bugs on Antaros. I've never really heard of uh, normalcy being a staple of being a Lancer in any way, shape, or form. Be real. Did you ever see spaceship soldiers? They did it without mechs. Oh my god, I know exactly what you're talking about. That was a wonderful film. Incredibly good. Uh, Good, it's good analysis on fascism. What well, the fuck also, are you guys yeah. talking about? You hear this guy's voice? Get the fuck over here! <laughs> yeah, so you just like fly over. Answers right. deploy as you will. You, you can deploy any. I'll actually. You have a different deployment sound for this. You're not applying a. Oh. You, boop boop boop. You can apply. You can uh, deploy anywhere within that. Sick. Or which one's mine? I wish I understood all these pop culture references you kids are making. I don't know. I don't know why. I was drawing lines, is that you? I don't know. I don't know. There's a little bit of green one on the corner. Oh, I was clicked <laughs> on the paintbrush for some reason. <laughs> I thought you were like crossing out like, this one isn't mine, this one isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> not that one, not that one. One. Oh, this one, I see it. Okay. Yeah, you can deploy anywhere within this red line here. Uh, red line. Are you the new guys? Oh, fuck, I was hoping they'd send like Shay or Sarai or something. Okay. Here's the situation. There's a bunch of fucking bugs over in that small copse of trees across the lake. What kind of bugs? Like giant ones, man. They're fucking bigger than than uh weapons, bozo. Big, I don't know, man. They're sending like razor swarms and shit. It's oh. mechanical type stuff, like biotech, SSC ah. type shit. Well, why did you let this happen? What, what do you mean, why did I let this happen? <laughs> if you like yelling at you. I mean, where did they come from? I don't know. They just burrowed out of the fucking ground, man. Uh, all right. Let's see. Give me a minute. I want to see if How I can. How far are we away from this compound? What compound? What are you talking about? Fucking reeds? Leon, triangulate our position versus the reeds compound. Can you, like, yes, show sir. Me on the map. <clears throat> Oh, it's exactly sh- 0.879 miles. I know where the bugs are coming from. They're coming what? from my ship. Your ship? Your ship. Well, it's going to be my ship. Our what? ship, but my... Somebody's going to hold the title. I'll hold the title. Don't don't you worry about that. Right, anyway. Hey, Bozo, can you, like, get to work? Aren't you Lancers or something? Uh, as uh, we're talking, you can see uh, Gentry walk his mech up to right behind the defense line, plant his legs, and the python slam into the ground. The drone on its back leaps down and begins to do its thing. Yeah, I'll get into it, boss. Hang on. Just gotta dial in the calibration a bit. See if I can get an area scan going, and he's gonna see if he can't ping and see if he can scan anything nearby that might be invisible. 
Okay. Let's see. So that would be a system, I believe, or is that... What, what would that be under... You're trying to um, see something? Search? Yeah, I think that'd be sensor then, right? Yes, that would be a... Uh, <clears throat> I believe that's you use your tech for that. Let me double check. Okay. Where is this? That's the drawback that Red gave me. I'm going to have to exterminate. <laughs> the drawback I... is bug. <laughs> this is a good drawback. Yeah, I love bug backs. Bug backs. <laughs> bug back mountain. Okay, so you had, uh, to search in a mech, you choose a character within your sensors that you suspect is hidden, and you make a contest of, uh, contested systems check against their agility. Oh, okay. So, so you're, like not gonna be able, you're not going to be able to identify like a mass of characters. All right. Would I be able to uh, instead just use maybe a uh, spot? just as a general thing, to try to see if I can't spot something or some of their movement. Oh, sure. Yeah, that'd be okay. fine. There's this, there's this really irritable buzzing in the air, by the way. It's like oh, it's yeah. like cicada season in Iowa. All right. Cicada season um, in Texas right now. It's really annoying. Yeah. Also, oh, cicadas when... were so bad and fucking... It's June bug season down here and cicada like... season, so there's just fucking beetles everywhere. Oh, because it would be Mayfly season with the cicada season in, like, mm -hmm. Illinois and Iowa. Mm -hmm. So there'd just be, like, layers, like, almost, like, snow's worth right. of layers of dead bugs everywhere. Oh. Also, Red, is there any way I could uh, get a drone from my guy? So I think I gave you one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where is your little guy? Mayflies. You fucking mayflies. Lumberfoot. I'll just give you another, lo I'll just give you another file. No, I have it. You got it? Okay. Yeah, sorry. I just forgot the... Dragon. Him. He's gonna be giant for a second, so. Huge! It's humongous. <laughs> Big guy. Uh, there you go, there's your little friend. Oh, uh, hooray! Hello, little friend. Natalie, uh, Mike, Mike is in chat, by the way. Alright, let's Bye. get our. Let's get our spot roll on. Ping! Sing. Uh, six? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> You don't see anything. There, there's this gust of uh, sand being kicked up in the air, and you can't really see these things. Um, mm -hmm. So Ami is taking his action first. Good! <laughs> oh, I was hoping to do that. Oh, let's see. So you see nothing. Okay. You assume there's something lost in that forest across the lake, as your uh, fellow said. Um, where the fuck? Is my shit. There we go. Okay. okay. Um, if that's the case, then I guess. Uh, let's see. And I can't remember, but do we have to stick to our initiative for the rest of the fight, or is this just. The no, no, no. You can, you can go in whatever order you want. Whatever. Right, right. This is, you know, obviously can't take multiple turns. Okay. That's so you're going to so see a strange looking insect type thing start flying towards you let me increase its size so you can see oh jesus god there. almighty that's huge yeah I just, I, I just increased the size of it. it's only oh, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right that's still size one that thing is still like gundam sized so yeah it's still huge <laughs> um let me see here i'm just double checking things okay uh this thing is going to since you guys you guys are behind this Jericho deployable cover, so you're gonna get uh, there's gonna be plus two difficulty to the attacks that they make if they make it towards the cover. Uh, but this guy has a lot of speed, so he's gonna fly up and over this cover here, and you're gonna hear like this whooshing sound, not quite like a jet engine, but like it's like a massive mosquito just flew by your ear, and it's going to uh, let's see, it's going to fire a missile launcher. What? Equivalent. Who gave the bug a missile launcher? <laughs> These look like organic creatures, right? Not like robots. Yes, they're they're like uh, the best way to describe them is biotech. Who 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 gave the bug a missile launcher? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's going to shoot a uh, missile, and it, this has blast one. God, this sounds like fucking Australia. <laughs> it's gonna shoot it right here. Um, 
Where is it shooting at again? Uh, I'll put up a little thingy for it. Right. Oh, mom. Right here. Uh, rolled a hit on the drone. 18. Rolled a hit on... Uh, let's see. Omni. Omni and then his little drone. Okay. Check. Omni, what's your evasion? Evasion on... Scald is... 10. Base 10. 10. Okay, so it misses. Uh, and the evasion on your little guy is more than... Also uh, 10. Also 10. Okay, uh, let me see here. Okay, doesn't quite hit. And hey. lastly, Derek. Uh, for my gas drone? My little guy? Uh, your, your little drone uh, did get hit. He's going to be taking uh, 4 damage. Oh no. <clears throat> and then for damage. you... He's alive. No, no, okay. My adorable bouncing baby boy is alive. Uh, the explosion does not hit you. You see this. You see this missile. Like this thing opens up its wings and it has like three pairs of wings. And you see that it has actually has some like weird tyranid-like uh, organic-looking missiles, like missile pods, like barrels, and they just fire off these weird. They, they look like missiles with like engines in them and everything, but it goes like spinning wildly and it strikes into the ground and it only really kicks up enough dust to actually damage the drone. And I'm going to throw it back to the Lancers. Oh, wait. Hold on. It damages that drone? That's Derek's drone or my drone? That's uh, that's your... You, the, the one with legs. This one that I just moved is mine. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. That's Derek has the hovering ones. You have the little one with like... You, you have the one that looks like the ones from Metal Gear Solid 4. Right, that's what I thought, yeah. So, okay, so he took four, Deco's... so mine took four damage. Gotcha. No, no, yours didn't take four, Derek's did. Oh! oh sorry, I'm... Never mind. Mine's fine, he's got 15 hit points, he's beefier than me. He's a beefy boy. He that's is actually fair. beefier than you, which is really funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to the Lancers, you guys can choose who wants to go. Uh, I mean, I could take care of this thing in our back line as the support, that would free up our heavies to, like, engage whatever else might come our way. Okay. If everybody else is good with that. Yeah, go ahead. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to make a... Uh, does he have cover from where I am? Uh, he is above the cover, so no. Fantastic. So I'm going to onslaught. Um, so that is this... smart. So it's going to be targeting his E-defense. That's right. 2d12. That's not a good roll on the ghoul nexus. Okay, that's not the hard hitting one. Here's the gas nexus. God damn it, that's in that one! I used uh -huh. all my luck in my earlier session today, fellas. Damn. Um, that no. is not good. I do not think either one of those are gonna hit. Um So I can nope. onslaught and move is basically it, right? Um yeah, you did a barrage, so you used a full action to barrage, that's what it's called. Fire but two weapons. Yeah. Um yeah, now you can move. Um I tell them that I'll take care of what's back here. You guys uh, take care of everything that's up there. One, two, three, four. I will move. Okay. You declared a thumb war. Yes, indeed. And I also declare a thumb war <laughs> as a free action. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So obviously there's going to be more of these things, because if it was just one of them, there wouldn't be much of a threat now, would it be? Um... Yep, there's one over the lake. Let me double check their movement, because they have a lot of it. Yes. Okay. This gang is going to move and boost, so it'll go 10 spaces this way. She'll probably just go like here ish. Uh, I'll move it like here. Uh, it's going to fire a missile here. Uh, with difficulty. It's going to be hitting the cover. Uh, so I will roll with difficulty for the two that would get caught in that black. Actually, I think Sick would be the only one getting caught. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be two. That'll be a d20 plus or minus 2d6. Oh, okay, it still hits. Uh, so let's see here. You're going to take four. I'm taking four? Yes. Okay. Okay. I will mark that down. Gotcha. Okay. 
both of these uh both of these cover have just been taking heavy damage now and uh you know that they're not going to last forever there will be a point where they get utterly destroyed especially this one right here it is falling apart now okay back to the players this thing sort of like like jets across the lake and it like kicks up a bunch of water underneath it as it fires off one of those dizzy missiles Wait, your your e defense is twelve at least. Yeah. Oh, then I wouldn't have hit. My bad. Yeah, no, the I am actually. Smart. I am uh, actually pretty chunky when it comes to tech stuff because I am a Horus Baylor. Okay, that wouldn't have hit them. So you can put your HP back, and it is back to the lancers. So between that and. I think it's just Nat then, isn't it? Is it my turn? Yeah, it's you uh you or Suki's, yes. Okay. Um, go ahead. I'm going to move up one, two, three, four. And then I think I can hit him with my howitzer, because it has uh twenty feet of movement or twenty foot range. Yeah, sure. Howitzer too. Nice. I do. It's good to have a big backup weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna not go completely up. I'm gonna stay back here. Howitzer has arcing, right? So it just ignores her. Yeah. Her. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be plus two, I think. Is that hit? Uh, let's see. No, it does not. It goes arcing past the thing and it goes kerplunk okay. into the lake. And you can see can I plane. use one of my accuracy dice? Yeah, you can. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. It does hit now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so go ahead and roll damage for it. Okay. Nine damage. Nice. Oh, okay. You pretty much broadside this thing, and you and you take off half of its wing, so it's kind of just like spinning around uh, infinitely. Uh, it's still in the air, surprisingly, but it is it is in bad shape. It doesn't start smoking like a regular mech would. It looks like it's oozing some sort of weird viscous liquid. Ew. I can only go hit once, right? Or can I go? You you can attack with two weapons if you have the range. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, I can hit him with my assault rifle. Okay, sure. Okay. That is another six damage. Mm. Okay, how do you want to take this thing out? Oh hell yeah! Um, I whip out my howitzer first. I don't know what that kind of gun looks like. It's a big um, fucking like cannon. A, yeah, it's oh. a really giant cannon. Oh yeah. I uh, aim the cannon at it and probably hit it like straight on. And then bring out my what was it again? Assault rifle and just start <laughs> through the sky. Probably miss a couple of uh bullets, but most of them hit him. This thing goes spinning and it just kerplunks into the lake with a satisfying splash. I don't like bugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie quote. I don't like bugs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Back to the enemy. Haha, surprise! Okay. <laughs> this thing's going to fire right here, so it hits uh, you, uh, it hits Natalie, Seismic, and the cover. It's going to make three attacks. Let's see here. So I'll just go left to right on this one. Okay, Natalie, if this hits, it does. Four. Okay. Uh, and this guy is also going to take four damage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. They don't seem to be doing anything too wild right now, except for firing missiles, which is kind of weird for an organic being, because uh, most organic beings don't fire missiles. Um, what are you talking about? I have a missile launcher in my chest, right? You don't mm -hmm. have a missile launcher? <laughs> I do, but it's, like, lower than that. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that was a fucking grade school joke. Anyway, uh, Lancers is back to you. Uh, Suki, I believe that's you. Elise. Oh, sorry. I was reading something. God, Waffle, you scared the shit out of me. Um... <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna just go deal with this guy in the back. Oh, shit. And I can use part of my movement as, uh, I can use, when I boost, I can fly, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, remember your- So I'm gonna put- Do your best to stay on the grid. Don't tell actually, me what to do. I can actually just set you as a drawing, so you can just move as how you want. That's weird. I don't know, man. Okay, um... I... Oi. Uh, I am... Um... Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna use my honorable challenge. On this thing. I'm gonna challenge this bug. Consider it challenged, I guess. I don't... <laughs> Challenging the bug to death to fight to the death. Okay, is that a quick action or is that a? It's a free action. Okay. So it has a mark. Um, that's that's the one that like lets people reroll, a uh, missed attack on it. Um. Okay. And I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. Beat the shit out of the bug. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna barrage. <laughs> oh, you boosted actually, so no. I boosted. No, I'm just gonna smack him. Making a with, weapon attack. With my uh, tactical melee weapon. Which is my giant hammer. Hammer. Yes. The D20 plus two. An eight hit? Nope. Darn. Yeah, the accuracy from earlier. I gave you that. No, too. no, I didn't. I used it on my downtime. Oh, that's check. right. Oh, can can you not use the accuracy you just marked this thing with? I don't get accuracy. That's that's to let people reroll a missed attack against can you, it. Can you not utilize it? <laughs> no. Oh, it's only for allies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you swing your hammer and miss this thing. It's like swatting a fly, after all. Except you're swatting it, swatting it with a sledgehammer. Uh, Angie. <clears throat> so, okay. Let's see. Back to the baddies. Bad bugs. bad bugs. Bad bugs. It's gonna be one that I just noticed I accidentally put a cactus in the middle of the lake. It's gonna piss me off so bad. Uh, oh, where, where is it? <laughs> it's right. It's right there. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a rock. Uh, oh well, it's a rock. Cactus-looking <laughs> uh, rock. It's a cactus-looking rock. Yeah. I like the, the way you think. Like things, right? <laughs> Can I get that on a T-shirt? Some rocks <laughs> look like this. That's a, that'd be a great T-shirt. That would be actually a really good t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Some rocks look like things, man. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, Natalie, you're going to get hit for four. Yeah. Your friend's going to get hit for four more, and he's in bad shape, and that cover is going to get hit for four. Actually, <laughs> what did I do? What did you do? You're getting shot at by a bunch of bugs. I can't... They just, they just work for the hive, man. I don't know. <laughs> they don't just... They, you know, they just work here, dude. <laughs> they just work here, man. This is a bee's nest, sir. I need to get a t-shirt because I didn't yeah, that means the king so. bug is going to be coming sooner or later. <laughs> bug is going to get you. <laughs> You've taken eight so far, I believe. No. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, well, I have to take the rest of these guys' turns, so I will try to expedite. expedite can't talk. Mm -hmm. Expedite that for you guys. Uh, let's see. Boop. 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 <clears throat> and I think I added one too many. No, we're good. Okay. There's plenty of these things to fight. They're obnoxious, so I'm not going to send too many of them at you. Uh, I'll just have these three make their attacks. They're going to make attacks directly against the cover to blow it up. So I'm just going to have them roll for that. 
They're not gonna hit Omni. Don't worry. Okay. Not yet, at least. Okay. They hit the cover. And let's see what shape they're in. Okay. This cover's gone. This, this thing just shatters into shrapnel in pieces and goes everywhere. <laughs> and this one is also done for. It just sh also shatters into pieces as they just unleash this barrage. I uh, don't think this thing has range, does it? Not quite. I can shoot at the. I can shoot at that, which it will, and reduce it to nearly shrapnel. And uh, that is back to the lancers. We're at the top of the initiative. I know you guys really loved aces, so I sent a bunch of them to fight. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Oh boy. I love it. <laughs> Derek's got to work with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, someone else wants to go before me, and I can go after. I don't mind waiting. Does it really matter to me? No matter. Well, what's our battle can... plan for this? Um. I'm going to set up turrets. Yeah. There are turrets here that you could activate, by the way. Uh, you notice that these ones uh, are sitting there what? doing absolutely nothing. You didn't mention that! You did not mention all... that. How can I activate these turrets? Uh, you can make a uh, some sort of tech action. Sorry, I totally forgot to mention that. How many of these could I activate at once, per chance? Uh, one per quick... Or one per quick action. So. One per quick if you, action. If you, yeah, if you succeed. Uh, the, well, the re well, the reason that I didn't mention it is because uh, they're sitting there. You think they would be on because this guy has been here the whole time, and then you realize they're not firing. Okay, so I'm going to do the thing now. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to activate my protocol. Um, so I'm going to spawn four more drones. Three more drones. Damn. Three more drones. Spawn on all your boys. Yeah. Okay. Spam uh, the boys. Well, I should probably not put the ones down with missing health. Let me fucking fix that real quick. Okay. Uh, Deploy I'm gonna have to make the boys. For these little guys. Okay. So, tell me what they do again, so I can give this you proper. This is my something. snare. Snare. Okay, we'll give them a little mat. Okay. This is my shredder. Shredder. It's probably like a saw looking thing. This is my hunter. Okay. And then I only needed to be done. I'll need three more. So I don't oh, okay. Um, oh, you, yeah, that's right. You deployed one already. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move here. Uh, I'm going to use um, my quick action to activate one of these, one right next to me. This one here? Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a, um, go ahead and make a tech check. Tech check. So seven plus my tech is, it would be a 10. Ten. Okay, it comes online and uh, it starts whirring up, and you can tell that this thing isn't uh, necessarily anything remarkable. It literally just shoots like max sized bullets to like take care of threats that size, but it'll probably do a decent amount of damage per turn. Fantastic. I'll let you since you activated it. I'll let you. Uh, they, they they work at the same time your drones do, so you can pick a target for it to shoot at. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna shoot the one next to my shredder. Okay, so this guy right here. Okay. So that's a 16. 16 hits. Uh, so what's what this is going to be is it's going to be... Uh, it's going to do four flat damage, and it has reliable two. Uh, so this thing uh, this thing whirs up, and you hear it, like, load a bunch of rounds, and it just starts, like, firing, like, reciprocating shots just over and over again, and it does four damage to this thing. Oh, yeah. It also gets just beefier because it's plugged into my nexus, so it gets five more hit points. Hell yeah, so it's gonna have a total of ten. You, just, you see the turret just bolts up instantaneously? <laughs> I think Ooh. it starts, like, glowing with, like, this red energy that's, like, 
maybe like even when the thing like returns fire at it and it like takes pieces of it off the pieces like stop moving backwards like they're kind of frozen before that like red lightning like sparks through it and brings them back into frame it goes <laughs> it just goes <laughs> so it's firing off shot no fuck you i'm still here <laughs> these things are immobile by the way so they're they're just basically mortars says you five mortars so you're gonna give it legs and make it walk <laughs> i don't have to Oh, that's right. You can scoot things around <laughs> as much as you want. Yeah. <laughs> that's my now I can do that too. Okay. Uh, this guy's gonna take his turn since he just got shredded. So, uh, or he's going to get shredded. So, what is shredded? At the start of his to... turn, um, he is going to uh, have to make a hole save. Oh, hole. Oof. If he's a uh, oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, it rolled a 10. So he fails, he takes one kinetic damage and is shredded until his next turn. Shredded means he doesn't benefit from armor, I believe? That's correct. Okay. Uh, okay. He be shredded. He shredded. Okay, he's gonna... Well, he, not now that he's like in a fearsome fight with this tiny drone, he's gonna start attacking it. He's actually gonna uh, do a fly over here. Um, he's gonna do something called bombing bay. Uh, limited three once per round. When, when they, whenever they move or boost, they can drop a bomb on one character below or adjacent to the path they took. So, uh, have your drone make an agility save again. Nice. That's a natural twenty. Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> uh, you just see, you just see this thing drop like uh, some sort of. It looks like a massive, like almost like a coconut, uh, out of uh, one of its orifices, and it just completely messes and kerplunks into the water, and just like anime moment, like second of silence after it kerplunks, and then it just explodes in this massive fiery explosion underwater. Okay. <laughs> I think you can get hit by that. And uh, this guy is going to take the rest of his turn, which will be shooting a missile right here. So this will hit the turret, Omni, and Omni's little man. Okay, so the no. turret is going to have plus one difficulty to get hit because he's next to my little drone. Gotcha, boss. Okay. I will add a d6 to that first roll, then. Okay. <laughs> Rolled a nat one. Uh, <laughs> and subtracted one, zero. Doesn't hit. Uh shoots himself <laughs> in confusion. Nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Omni, he doesn't hit you or your little guy, either. He rolled a one, a two, and a Four. Nice. Beautiful. Since he didn't <laughs> hit me, uh, I'm going to take advantage now of my ability, which is uh, Lockbreaker. So, actually, no, sorry, not Lockbreaker. The uh, other one, it's the uh, God. It's the dog fighting one. I can remember the name of it off the top of my head. Hold on. Um, oh, I have to wait for a call. Uh, skir it's, no, it's Skirmisher. It's, uh, it, it is Ace. It is Ace. It's acrobatics. Okay. So I just get to scoop myself. Two spaces in any direction is a reaction. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll put him over here. I'll just fly him literally right there, lateral. I just don't want him to go too far forward. Okay. Okay. I'll get back to the Lancers. Who else wants to do stuff? I will literally wait till the end and pop whatever we can't finish, or whatever big might show up. Um, who hasn't gone? Natalie. That's me. I haven't gone, but I'm, I'm fine waiting also. Derek's the only one that has gone so yeah. far. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. I'm gonna smash this guy so I can get into the middle of things. Mm -hmm. Do it. I'm gonna barrage him. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. He's <laughs> it just a bug. I'm just a little bug, please! Please! I'm just a level one bug, please! I'm just a level one bug, please! No, please! I love the idea that Nana to make the world's biggest like a bug swatter smack. Um, so that'll be my tactical melee weapon and my shotgun. Um, melee weapon misses, shotgun hits. That's weird. Okay. Um, nice. Has this bug had his turn yet? No. Every bug has his day. All bugs go to heaven. 
<laughs> Sorry, I accidentally opened the wrong fucking page for a second. <laughs> I actually <laughs> clicked the link in chat that my bot dropped. I was just bot to okay, it. then he's, he's gonna take a d6 of damage. From the shotgun? Yeah, six Hold damage. No, Direct right. little bug. You completely mess with the hammer, but as he's moving out of the way, you sort of like train your shotgun over and blast him, and you like take out two sets of his wing. I'm gonna issue an order with my leadership to, um, to, let me see, Natalie, can you fly at all and get up there to that guy? I don't think so. I don't think I can fly. You can, I will yeah. let you just jump off of the truck and then get up there, so, if you wish. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll issue a, I'll, at the end of my turn, I'll issue a command to Arkin. What are you still doing down there? Get up there and take up on the one, care of the one that's flanking us. Come on. What? Uh, that, that one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Or one of them going, or is it my turn? Uh, Suki just took her turn, so it is, uh, Bug's life turn. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one's gonna boost, so it'll go one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. Drop a bomb. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no! Uh, so, so it's gonna drop. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh no! I think if it drops a bomb here, yeah, it'll drop a bomb here. So it'll. Okay, so it'll make an attack against both of your drones, which have difficulty um, because of your thingy, and then it'll make an attack against zombies. Drone. My boy! <laughs> I haven't uh, used him once, precious baby! Uh, the only one that hits is your. It hits the turret that difficulty. you just set up. Yeah, I added the difficulty. Okay. Uh, let's see here. How much damage does that do? Uh, have it make an agility save. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, it's knocked prone. The thing just gets blasted for six damage and it gets like, it just goes, ee, and it just like falls broke. <laughs> my baby, my precious baby. My baby, my baby fell over. <laughs> Me baba. Uh, and this thing's going to fire another missile attack, targeting it. Derek at the center of it. Oh, difficulty. Is there difficulty on you as well? Oh yeah, difficulty. Um, the drone projects a shield. Ranged attacks against adjacent characters and allies receive a plus one difficulty. That's pretty spicy. Okay. 14 hits. 15 hits. Oh no. 7 doesn't. It does not take out your prone turret, but uh, you're, you are going to be taking... A whopping four damage. <gasps> God oh. damn. Breaking the bank on that four damage. So the turret takes half of that. And uh, does my drone get hit? Uh, this little guy does not get hit. Uh, it's your drone that's getting hit. Okay, so earlier when that drone took that six damage, he took half of that. And this drone also only takes half of that because I have... Um, <clears throat> Shepherd Field drones, deployables, and, uh, deployables and objects adjacent to the Hydra gain resistance to all damage. Good lord. Okay, so it's gonna take two. Okay. That is the bug's turn. Passing it back to the players. And end of this combat round, we're gonna take another break, by the way. Okay. Okay. Can we do um, something? Oh, did you want to go? No, I, I did want to mention, though, you said you had a house. Uh, I did want to let you know that it has ordinance, which means you have to shoot it before you move or do anything else. Oh. The only thing you can do otherwise is protocol before that. Okay, that's so, good to know. Then yeah. I should be able to hit the guy because it has 20 feet. Does the howitzer have loading? Yeah, the howitzer has loading, too. Okay. okay. Which is so what the drone does. Reload. Yeah, I believe. Then I will try and hit the guy on top of the cliff. Um, what are you trying to hit him with? My howitzer. I have to shoot it first, apparently. 
Yeah, but you, uh, you you used it, so you have to use a full action to reload it before you use it again. Yeah, because it has loading. It's a big gun, so you need to basically reload it every turn. And if I load it, does that count as using it before I move? You can't uh, use if you, it and shoot it, and you can't shoot it yeah. and reload it in the same yeah. turn. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a sniper rifle, so you need to take a whole action to reload it. So I will do that, and then move forward. Two, three, four. Okay. And then, am I able to shoot again, or did the no, action? You, do, you unless you want to not take the full action to reload it. No, I would rather reload it, so I guess okay. that will be my turn. Now it's, uh, now if it tries to move away from you, you can have an opportunity attack, since you're okay. engaged with it. Nice. Okay. Bug. Back to the bug. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, start at this guy's turn. What does your snare do, Derek? Um, do I, I already use re my reaction, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. It's going to uh, attempt a bombing run. So that'll be an agility save from you. Um, that is going to be a total of... My agility... Agility... Where is agility? I just got an at 20 the last time, so I knew that I passed. Uh, first row, dead middle. Just below hall. Am I looking First in call. the wrong spot? Um, yeah, you need to be on the mech page. Yeah, I'm on the mech page. Right below your mech vitals. Right in that first column, below HP. It's the third from the bottom. Oh man, I just come right. <laughs> You're good, Chief. You're okay. I see stress, heat capacity, repair capacity, attack bonus, limited system bonus. It's up at the top. Oh, it's at the top? Yeah, it's yeah. four attributes. Oh. Um, hmm. oh. Oh, okay, sorry. It's because of how I can press it. I still don't see it. There's oh. your picture of your mech. Oh, agility yeah. is one of the whole system's engineering. I have zero to Yeah, agility. that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's okay. literally in that first uh, first. Uh, this, this little You're saying at the take... top, so I was looking up at the very top. This little oh, yeah, drone's gonna take six damage, and he's gonna fall prone, so he's gonna kerplunk into the water. Oh, <gasps> my baby! He's just underwater. He's not. He's not gonna be destroyed by entering water. Um, he's just going to have a difficult time getting out of the water. And uh, let's see. This thing can make a missiles attack. Mm -mm -mm. Target Omni again, because <laughs> Omni hasn't gotten hit by a single one of the things that I've fired at him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, okay. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I also have skirmishers, so I have soft cover for the first until I'm hit or oh, I make I someone take I a check. That. Fuck. So yeah, I have integrated. I have uh, oh, no. integrated chaff launchers. So do does that factor in here, Chief? You still get hit. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're uh, both of you and your little guy are gonna take four. Okay, it's fine. There's like craters being made all over the place from these missiles being nonstop barraged at you guys. Poor drone, oh, my boy. So you said four damage? Yeah, four. Okay. All right. Does his evasion get lowered? For the drone? Yeah, I, no I noticed you just took his evasion down to six. Oh, uh, no, that was its health. Sorry. Uh, yeah, green's health. So yeah, so the green should be at one. Yeah, and the you should still be ten, ten. Yeah, no, that's correct. Why did that go down? Jesus. Oh, I see. I meant to click the next mech and it didn't do it right. There we go. That's Ooh. why. That's <laughs> why. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Um, it's back okay. to the players then, I believe. And that would be me now. Um, yes. So let's see. We have some interesting possibilities here. I think a barrage would be warranted. Um, we have quite a few targets, and I don't like how close they're getting. They're not being nice. So here's what we're gonna do. How much? Mm, how much damage did you do to this one up here again, uh, Elise? 
Um, six. Six. Yes. Okay. So it's probably. How's it looking, Red? Is it not looking that good? She took off two pairs of its wing. Okay. So, hmm. All right, so it's probably going to take a bigger hit. All right, yeah, let's do a barrage. So, we are going to first off use protocol. Uh, so, our powering up. Um, so, as he, uh, as uh, Gentry sort of sits in the cockpit and leans back, and the MRI machine closes over him, the mech begins to sort of vibrate and hum and like an aurora of life sort of starts leaking out of its vents as it begins charging. Let's start kicking some ass. First things first, let's take care of the one in the distance I know I'm in range of. That guy's gonna be eating a howitzer. So bad. Um, let's see what we can do with it. Come on, cowboy. And yeah, I think that's the smart one. Okay, we're gonna do that. So howitzer, go! The bow of Euphrates! Uh, so that was a, it's a 10 after modifier? Doesn't hit. I will use accuracy then. Okay. I want a dead. <laughs> I should be a dick and have it evade, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> 12. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, 12 does hit. All right, cool. Uh, if that's the case then, so our boy takes a grand total of eight explosive damage. You direct hit this thing, and it just like. Uh, how do you want to kill it? Uh, so, he sort of plants his legs, and as he does, the cannon on his back reorients. You hear that wee pew, like it's a very light sound as it arcs up, and then it comes back down, and there's just this incredible bass thrum and a blast of prismatic light. I, I, was, gonna say, I was gonna, I was waiting for you knew it. It. I it was, was gonna happen. For it. I was yeah. waiting for it. I was gonna it's say my, it's I'm... like. It's my color, Chief. Deal with it. Anyway. I was gonna um, see if I could say it. I was gonna say it. he's gonna say it if you if I could get it in before you said it, but right when I was gonna say it, you said it. Yeah, fuck you. I, I beat you the <laughs> Um But yeah, no, as he does, the water below just turns to just turns to steam for a second. You can see the bottom of the water there for a second. The actual like floor of the bed before it all rushes back in again. Um That's one shot. Let's turn around and see if we can't mess up one of these other guys. Shoots him oh, in the back God. for making fun of him. <laughs> Death. You and your drone. You. Um, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's your do... Landmark. <laughs> uh, let's do the... Let's do the cloak. So he, as he turns around, extends his hand, and the sort of like weird cloth around his uh, mech's... around his mech's neck begins to disassemble into particular matter and floats over and attacks this guy. Let's see if we can catch him. Go, Hunter Killer Nexus! Nice. Solid, a 21. And two and damage. Mmm, so good. Um, it takes a whopping two damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's great. It's eating its wings. Yeah, I suppose so. It's probably eating its wings bit by bit. Um, slowly, like, eroding away at it. And I think I now have movement, and that's it, right? So, knowing that, I am going to... Is it a quick action to reload that, or... To reload. It's a quick action. Yeah, I'm already... Die to reload? Say what? Yeah, I okay. can. That's what I'm wondering. I, I used a barrage. That's a full action, though, right? Yes. So, yeah, I don't have any quick actions left. That's the okay. case. Oh, the little guy makes it a quick action to reload. Okay. Exactly, yeah. He doesn't do it himself uh, on that. Um, he's, he's letting out little chirps and, like, helping you lift the shell. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's literally got Doc Ock arms, and he's mm. restabilizing the core the back of my mech when he does it. <laughs> he's your little um, helper. He is. He's helper. a good boy, and he might die and be very angry. Um, very angry. No good. <laughs> no good. <Yeah. way. laughs> so if that's the case, then I'm going to have him move away for a little bit, and he's going to just move down here on the bottom. Actually, you know what? No, I got movement. He's gonna jet this way after he fires the cannon, literally <laughs> sliding out of the way and bring his hand up. He can't attack yet, but this guy, if he moves, is gonna get a face full of sharpened claw. And that's the end of my turn. 
And he's gonna get shot with the knife hand him. protocol that I haven't used yet. He's gonna get Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. I got a segment knife I'm itching to use here. <laughs> okay, uh, it's gonna be this bug's turn, and uh, Natalie, the first thing it does is it tries to move away, so you have an opportunity attack. That means if you have anything with threat, you can uh... make a free attack with it. I guess I'll use my assault rifle. Okay. Does your assault rifle have threat? Um. No, I don't think so. A weapon has to have threat to make an opportunity attack. Um, I don't know if I have a weapon that has threat. Do you have any of your new weapons? No. I don't remember what the name of the weapons are for the Manticore. Um, I don't know. I only see my um, assault rifle and howitzer. Okay. Uh, the Manticore does get specific weapons, so we can talk about that. Uh, like a plasma pistol or something, right? Yeah. It gets like okay. plasma pistols or something like something along those lines. I don't know. We'll get you set up with those before the next session. Um, because those are really fun to work with. Uh, so this thing's going to fly out of the way, and it's going to actually just <laughs> ignore you, and it's going to shoot here, and not only take out the cover, but also do a fuckload of damage to... Well, let's see. Uh, let's see... Okay, that does not hit. Uh, well, actually, it does hit. Okay. All right, you're uh, this guy that's here that is trying to figure out how to operate this uh, this mech is uh, gonna get barraged again, and he's gonna get hit for four, and his mech's now smoking and on fire. <laughs> Damn. I think everybody is taking their turns, correct? So it's up to me now to just finish up things up. You guys killed a lot of the stuff. This guy's gonna. This guy is going to move. Um, so. Okay, that's fair. Uh, he's gonna get a face full of knife. Um, so that's an 18, <laughs> and that works for me. Overkill, I'm not going to use it. Um, uh, overkill is not optional. Oh, so how does that work? Uh, I believe it's if you roll a run one on the damage, you keep rolling. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't roll But you didn't roll, so two. it's not uh, yeah. applicable. Okay, uh, how do you want to kill it? So, uh, as this thing backs away, he sort of jetted towards this thing as he was uh, done with his initial round of attacks. And so, as he did, his hand sort of, the mech's hand sort of locks up and goes from like having a normal sort of posture to just like clicking into place like an X Acto knife and clicking back. And as this thing pulls away, he lashes out and it sort of extends out and stabs through like a spear and then retracts back with a loud ratcheting noise. Awesome. And he just sort of explodes. Punch <laughs> yeah, perfect. I love it. <laughs> remember, bless you. Bless you. Uh, remember when you're cutting with an exacto knife to cut away from yourself. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and make uh, sure the blade is sharp. <laughs> also, your wit. Okay. Uh, stupid. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Suki, this is gonna try to fly away from you. Um, at the start of its turn. Yeah. Oh, what happens at the start it, of his turn? Yeah, it's gonna take. It's gonna take two damage from my scouring swarm. Okay. Takes the two, and it's gonna try to move. Okay. I'll I'll take my. Uh, I'll take my. <coughs> it looks like it's about to leave a parting gift if you don't kill it. So. Fucking. What's the name? Um. Which one of us? Why? Why can't I think of the name of? Opportunity attack. Thank you. There we go. Uh, you're um, six, I 16. Think. 16 with my hammer. 16 hits. Okay, so that's going to be a d6 plus mm -hmm. 2. That'd be a d6 plus 2. No! <laughs> 3. Now you want to kill it. Yes! <laughs> um, you finally catch it with your hammer. Splat! Just like, right, right, like you're crushing an aluminum can. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like trying to fly away, but you like reach out your hammer just far enough to like swing it down and around it. And you just smash it against the side of this mesa. Fantastic! And it Fuck that little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think I only have one more to move. I think I already took a turn with this guy. Yeah, he did. He shot it on me. Okay. Yeah, uh, he did. Whew. This guy's gonna move over here, and he's going to unleash a barrage upon me. Uh, 
Derek, when did you, when did you take five? I don't remember. I you think... took you took four. You're at five right now. Okay. Um, okay, it's gonna do a missile barrage with difficulty on all of them because you're a little shepherd. Yep. You're the son of a shepherd. I'm the son of a shepherd. <laughs> Life has many doors, head boy. Explode. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad you did the many doors, head boy. One. <laughs> Life has many doors, head boy. Explode. Too much for couch head potato boy. heads. <laughs> All right. Um, wow, that's sad. It rolled a 16, minus 5, 11, miss. Uh, second nice. one was a 6, becomes a 2 because of a 4. And the last one is an 11, so it does hit your little guy you turned back on mine, and it does kill him. No, he has resistance to the damage. Wait, that little guy has resistance? All of them do. Anything that's no. my friend that's not a fucking mech. <laughs> okay, it takes a whopping 2 damage. Aha, I still have him. And uh, before uh, <clears throat> before um, the end of the turn, before we go on break, uh, you hear this weird, like, roar noise, but it's like a weird, agitated hiss. Just, oh, like, no. really deep and low-pitched. It sounds like... It sounds like something is screaming through an old microphone. Oh, no. And you see it. Queen the, bug. You see it on the edge of the lake. Oh, no. Ah, shit. And we're gonna oh, eat me the pig. <laughs> yeah, there you go, so you guys can see that. Alright, don't go anywhere, anybody. You don't want to miss this. Uh, we're gonna take a quick 5 to 10, and then we will be back with more Ooh. Desperado.
back, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. We sure appreciate your patience. Hope y'all are having a good Saturday. I know we are. We're about to get squishy and buggy and gross and stuff, so let's get on into it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, where we left off is you guys were introduced to uh, Mama Bug. Mama uh, Bug. You're quite a ways away from it. The big lady. The big old bug. It is the player's turn. I know what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. What you want to do? I want to get those turrets off. Probably right. a good idea. Yeah. Okay. That's a smart idea. So I'm going to use uh, quick actions for both of them. Okay. So that's 19 um, and another 10. Okay. Let's see here. Well, okay, the so 19 you... would be a 22. Okay. You get both of them online. Uh, and then I'm going to protocol to bring um, the furthest one away over here right next to me. Um, right here. Behind. This little guy? Um, and then I'm going to deploy my drone right here next to me as a free action. My uh, hunter killer drone. With my gas, or not hunter killer, it's gas. My gas drone, it's a free action. Nice. Okay, uh, gas, uh, is there like a spooky thing I can use? Um, uh, I don't know if we made it. <clears throat> but. Yeah. Spooky. Ooh. Skull. <laughs> so, that is going to be um, shooting with all three of those guys. <clears throat> okay. This little fella is toppled over so he can't shoot. Ooh. No! Help him! It's a yeah, boy! These two can shoot, though. So what are they shooting at? They're shooting at Mama. Uh, oh, nah, Mom is probably out of range. Yeah, out of range. They're just gonna they have this like, motherfucker right range. up next to us. Uh, which one? The one right next to me. Or, like, right above us. That one? Okay. Uh, make two attacks. Okay. Hit, hit. Okay. So, eight damage total, right? Mm hmm. You do a good amount of damage. Like, both of your turrets immediately come online and they, like, well, and they start like firing in the same exact direction and they both hit dead on oh He's yeah serious damage to this thing the hydra just like waves its disjointed hands and like both of those um like mechs like they look like they glitch out of reality for a second and then the other one is just like teleported right over next to me and they just level at it and it's blown away in chunks of like ichor and sex bits nice <clears throat> okay to the NPC's turns. Uh, they're gonna see that Mama came out, so they're gonna start flying back. This guy's gonna just fly all the way back, not even make an attack. Players. Okay, um, well, we're trying to bait Mama to come this way to us, Mama. where we have the advantage. Mama. Hmm. I could hit her, actually. Like, that she's actually in the range. Yeah, that'll get her attention, get her to start coming this way. Yeah, I do need to reload, though, first, so I'm gonna need to get back to my drone before that happens. Okay, so. we'll go ahead. Alright, um, okay. So, this will take I one turn for us, to fin for us to do, just so you know. Out of curiosity, um, is this considered a kaiju, or...? No. What size category is this thing for? Three. Three. Okay. If that's the case, then I guess I'll do. So, if you guys are good, I go then? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, after having chopped that guy and having it blow up on his knife hand, tracks the blade and scoots back this way, uh, boosting along the ground, skating, leaving a little glass behind him, and puts his back up to the drone, 
sort of like gestures at it and the drone immediately stops like bouncing on one limb to the other then plants its little feet and extends metal arms and begins to Hello, reload. Hello, Papa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His name is Helpy. He's here to help. Um, Helpler. <laughs> yeah. The Helpler. Oh, His Helpler. name actually H3. is Helpy. It's H3LP1, but Helpy. Um, as he reloads as a quick action, so that's done now. Would you like and... to reload as a quick action? It's like a pop-up on your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then as soon as he's done with that, He's going to kneel down and cause look, right now we've got we've got these creatures in under control on this side. So there's only one, right? It's just this one. Yeah. So okay. Fine. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so that's the case. Then he's going to uh, sort of kneel down and gesture towards the drone, like, "Come on, Helpy, get on board." And Helpy is going to uh, make little beeping sounds and ratchet himself onto the back of the uh, mech and disappear as he uh, goes back into storage as a quick action. So I don't want to lose my auto reload for nothing. And I can't shoot this turn, so might as well get him all ready to go for the next one. <clears throat> okay. And I think I still have movement left, as I recall. Um, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I this... that on yeah, I, oh, I did, but not very far. Uh, speed. Yeah, I have like one more left. So I'm going to shut this way, just a little bit more, uh, since I have like one, actually I'll move him here, that's one tick further from him. So hopefully I'll be able to peg, like absolutely guaranteed ping this guy wherever he goes. And that's okay. me, guys. Gotcha, back to the NPCs, this guy's gonna go, let's see, let me just measure out kind of real quick. Mm. If he does a flyover, he's probably dead. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he's got he is going to want to survive, so he's going to go this way. And back to the players. Can I kill this bug before it gets away? Yeah, absolutely. You also fully reloaded your howitzer, unless you wanted to save that for the big boog. Mm. Save that for the big boog would probably be a good move. And I'm just going to move. Um. Mm. Time. What other guns do you have on there? I just am showing my assault rifle and um, howitzer. I don't know how I only ended up with two. Um, the howitzer probably takes multiple slots. Maybe. The howitzer is a heavy weapon, is the trick. It's a heavy kill. Okay. So. Like my gas nexus takes two slots. Yeah, because it's particularly powerful. Yeah, it's it's main versus auxiliary. Auxiliaries can take a fl- can be it's two per flex slot, or it's a main weapon in flex slot. And the uh, the howitzers are heavy, so you might just like. It, I, I don't know how that would work. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Am I able to hold my action? Um. To just shoot the next thing that's in range. Um. Yeah. You can prepare. Okay. So if, when it, if something comes in the range, you can shoot at it. What are you going to shoot at it with, though? The, the howitzer, if it's the big one. Okay. It's just the howitzer. It's a big one. Okay. 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 Well, that'll be back to the big... That'll be back, back to the NPCs, so a uh, uh, big bug is going to start moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be in range. <laughs> uh, this thing is going to use one of its actions to deploy a razor swarm. Oh, no. I don't like that. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't, it's out of a I, don't lo- I don't like the sound of that. Counter spell. Be my thing. Counter spell. <laughs> Counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let me you measure. It. My truck car. Fuck you. <laughs> nice. Okay. So it's going to deploy it right. Yo, Here. real talk. I'm so hyped for Spelljammer. Oh hell yeah! Oh too. fuck yeah! I, I, I'm I'm excited for the Radiant Citadel. Oh my god, those look awesome. Oh yeah, Radiant um, Citadel looks fun too. I love it when D and D does some new things instead of just reusing the same setting over and over again. Isn't Radiant like, Citadel in the old setting? Uh no. Oh shit. It's in the Ethereal Plane. It's in the it, it's it's it, yeah it's in the Ethereal Plane, but it's also uh, or it's in the Astral Sea, but it's um. There's a bunch of custom worlds made by uh, a lot of BIPOC and LGBTQ creators and stuff like that. Definitely one so of good really stuff. Cool. It's awesome. I, I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> uh, Play that one together. 
Hell yeah. Oh, we're definitely oh, yeah, gonna, gonna, we're, 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 we're definitely gonna be going to Spelljammer and Covet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking love Spelljammer. Yeah, it's. Bond's already hinted at the fact like I want to be an interplay and a guardian, so it kind of works out that way. Um, <laughs> Not a guardian, but like more of a toll keeper. Anyway, uh, so let's see. Yeah. to pay the troll toll. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that means a national treasure. I love him. Okay, let me see here. This, you see this massive swarm of bugs just sort of coalesce, and it, it literally just looks like an explosion. The way it's like glowing, this weird pinkish red color. And uh, back to the players. You know that passing through this would be a bad idea. So you guys think you're the only one that hasn't gone, right? Yeah, only me. Um, is there a way to prepare actions in Lancer? I can't remember. Um, yeah, you can ready, I think. I think that's what we just did with Natalie. Let me double check. Yeah. Um, mm. blah, blah, blah. Only you can <laughs> make your best world seem right. I just think about Far Cry every time I hear that now. God, yeah. <laughs> I did such a good I... job of imprinting with that. Uh, prepare is a quick action, so you can hold a quick action for a specified trigger. Okay. So that's what, that's what we did with Natalie. Okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> um, thinking real hard. Yeah, I'm thinking real hard. Um, hmm. Okay, here's what I want to do. Um, I'm going to activate my protocol right off the bat. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna do that. Um, so that means I'll just put my active high frenzy. So what's your protocol do again? Oh, that's the whirlwind effect, right? We make like a huge orb damage. Well, I already have that going on. I just make it better. Okay. So this is what I do, because um, I, I do a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. Mm. What's sick? So you had pretty good luck with that so far. You rolled a six on your first that, roll of that. That was good. That was really good. That um, was spicy. Make red angry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Okay, before I move boost, I'm actually gonna drop my little boy over here. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna deploy my hive drone over here. And give nice. it to, put him over here by Derek since oh, he can move around. Beefy over here at the command central, dude. The command central. <laughs> 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 I want to make it purple for Suki, so we know it's Suki. Um, is it? like possible for me to give him command of my drones so it gets the benefits of being under his command i don't see why not <laughs> well actually it's still technically yours you just kind of benefit for the adjacent things I, I i can't command it or do anything with it the only thing i can do is is deploy it that's why i can have multiple <clears throat> okay well then you just deploy it it's within sensors right yeah, within sensors. I have long sensor range. Okay. Like 12 on my sensors. <sighs> Alright, Knight, take that one. How much health does it have? It has five base, but giving it to Derek gives it, I don't know how much. Derek, uh, well, Derek can take control of it. Nice. It's just gonna have five. <clears throat> okay. Because it was deployed by another player. That's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna move boost over here, fly, and oh. then just kind of like wait, come over here and wait for her to come around the corner. Okay. You okay, Derek? Yeah, uh, I misunderstood how I used something last turn, but that's okay. Mm. 
Uh, at least are you preparing an action or what are you doing? Um, let me ask you guys, do you want me to move over here or do you want me to move like right here? Don't go uh, by the death cloud. Yeah, like I'm I'm good either way. I'm actually pretty mobile, so you don't need to worry about getting too close to me. I think we can scatter pretty well in encircle, so I don't think you need to put yourself like directly between us. We should be good. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna stay over here and then wait for her to like Hello Junebug, <laughs> how did you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> Derek's playing fucking Triptide over here, Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm playing an RTS, you guys are playing an RPG. Yeah, you're, you're playing Planetary Annihilation over there, mm -hmm. making your little Mia robots. Corn. There's a June bug on my keyboard. Mechanicus. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Get out of here. Imperium. <laughs> yeah, because he's doing nothing and dying. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say squat, because he, he did nothing and... Got squat. squatted. Oh, but yeah. squats are coming back and they're doing something. They are. They never left in front of Dilutin. Sure. That's, bu that's all, that's complete bullshit. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe they can say that about some factions, but when you've been missing for literally the better part of two and a half decades, your ass can't say shit. You can't go like, they never left, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they never left my heart while they were wiped out of it nearly into extinction and now you're saying they're back, so. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> I'm sure all the squat players would have loved to have heard that 30 hundred like tournaments they couldn't play in. <laughs> Alright, Elise, are you doing anything else? Um, no, I use both my quick actions and my movement and my protocol. I guess I should put a little icon showing I'm using my protocol. <clears throat> yeah, please. Something. Mm. Why are my icons not showing up? What's the deal here? Uh, click on your dude and it should be at the very bottom. No, it's because you're at the Oh. oh. There. I'm sad. Add icon. Um, I'll put a, just a little blue icon on myself. Okay. You was drawing again. Okay. Um. <laughs> everything took their turn, so it's technically black. Black. Back to the players. Black to the payers. <laughs> black to the <laughs> players. <laughs> um. Whoever wants to go first, fine, unless you want me to go first again, but I've gone first every time, so. Up to y'all. Whoever needs the most setup. Yo, oh, is that thing in my range now? Uh. What's uh, the range of a howitzer? 20? It's 20. Yeah, you're, you're. We're both well within range. Yeah, well, are you? No, it's from the corner. Yeah. Oh, from the corner. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. you're at like 17.9 hexes in Oh, yeah. Can I at least use my held action? Um, yeah, you can use your held action because it actually moved within <laughs> range, weirdly enough, <laughs> before we start the uh, top of the turn. Yeah. Kaboom! Okay, it's a 14 with my howitzer. 14 does hit. Oh, mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, it has a blast radius, right? It does. Yeah. Uh, okay, make another attack, and it's going to target the. Uh, Smaller guy. So isn't it unwieldy? Doesn't you subtract a d6 from it? It's uh, it's un it's inaccurate. So okay, so um, subtract a d6 from each of those. Unless you're using the accurate. I'll use my accuracy. Okay, okay. So you're gonna use your accuracy on the first one or both of them? Uh, the first one. Okay. Uh, first one does hit, second one hits is or, uh, second one does not hit if you're subtracting the five from it. Okay, then I will hit it one time. Oh, man. Only three. Three damage? Okay. Howitzer strikes into the thing, but, uh, it, it seems to explode, but it seems like these little bugs are, like, swallowing up the explosion. Ooh. You did damage, but not that much. Yeah. That's concerning. Okay, now it's starting to turn. All right. So we got a plan, team. Hit it hard. Get it close. Uh, yeah, bait it over to the area that we're in. All right. And yeah, uh, surround it. Work. All right, then. I think we can do that. Um, 
So who wants to go first? If not, I can tag it with a howitzer and sort of pull back, try to pour fire into this stupid cloud. <laughs> I'm good with that. All right. So uh, we can use the bow of Euphrates. I'm going to use my accuracy to cancel off inaccurate. Okay. Um, yeah, that should work. Correct. Yeah, okay. Opening fire. And uh, let's do it. Oh, bam. Nice. 21. And of course, five damage because I can never fail to roll two dice and one of them has to be a one. Uh, okay, the roll. Right? It is, and I need to roll for the other one, too. I mean, so you don't uh, roll for the damage, right? It's just maximum damage. Is it? That's what Red said for the... That's how crits work. It's just the maximum damage on the damage die. Oh, then it's 12 damage. It's 12 I explosive damage. That's right. Um, I also need to roll for the damage. No, no, you have a feat. No, you have a feat that gives you maximum damage. You just oh. add another dice. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, you add one additional die. Okay, so roll another d6. D6! What? what? Get nice. wrecked! Nice. That's uh, pretty great. Um, so that's Not 11. That's what you that's... wanted to do. Uh, uh, so yeah. roll another attack for the smaller guy. Yeah, this one I need to roll the accuracy for. Um, uh, let's see. Wait. So that's uh, 11. Does not hit. I didn't think so. I think 12 is the number. Um, so, having fired that, the blast, this is an entertaining thing I haven't had a chance to use yet. So I do have a talent that lets me relocate. Um, this is with impact. Um, I am then, so I am then pushed one square away. Technically it's anyone who's directly around me has to take a test or get damaged or, pu or pushed away and knocked away. But I just sort of get pushed by the impact of firing the cannon. So. He scoots okay. back one, and that is not movement. And now we do the actual uh, shoe sting. So he's going to do this as a barrage. You just have to fire the cannon first. We're going to dust off the... I don't like how this thing seems to be resisted to so much damage. So I'm going to throw an energy attack at it with fixed damage. So he's going to reach into underneath the uh, cloak around his chest, pull his arm out, and... On it, there's going to be a cable running to a gun that springs out of his wrist, like an old uh, spring-loaded pistol dispenser. And he's going to unleash a Zam from a thermal pistol. Nat 20, of course. Uh, that's how it seems to be going a lot lately. What are you or 19. Uh, the cloud here. So it is two energy damage. So... Double checking real quick. Good. So yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. And it's line. So it's five line directly in front. I think that does mean I only hit it once. I don't think it's like you can tag the same thing with it across uh, multiple axes. Okay, so it's going to take two damage. Yep. Okay. And then he's going to use his actual move to jet laterally this way a little further back. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Cool. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to start the Big Mama's turn. Uh, yeah. At the start of his turn, it has a thing where it can move these Razor Swarms uh, to in any direction. That'll be one, two. So it oh, no. right here -ish. Okay, so this thing isn't quite. Let me see if it's to say adjacent. I'll be okay. Sure. Move. And your damage cloud might destroy it. In the area, move into it. Okay, so it's not adjacent. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, so now it's going to take its turn. It actually recharged its swarm, so it's going to deploy another one. Uh, let me make sure it's 10 away. So about right here, I can deploy one. Awesome. I really like this thing's designed. This thing's cool as hell. 
Hell yeah. Uh, it's going to start scooting. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Suki, are you within range? Yes. <clears throat> oh, wait. Is that eight? Yes. Okay. It's going to use something called Hunter Killer Nexus. I do have both hard and soft cover. Okay. You only get one or the other, so it'll be hard. Okay. Um, uh -huh. These two attacks. It'll Time. be hard. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> 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 let's see. Uh, let's see, that'll be 2d20. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta roll difficulty. <laughs> Oof, that rolled really badly. Uh, let's see. 12. Okay, that one hits. Both of them hit. Uh, you are going to take a total of six burn. Okay. And that was a cool... Let's see, that was a weapon, so it's going to make a quick attack. It's going to make a, an attack against a character within sensors. I think... What the hell is that? Uh, let's, let's I think Suki is the only one within sensors. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to do something called Drone Barrage. It makes a tech attack against a character within sensors. On a success, the target chooses one. You are immobilized or impaired. Or you immediately move up to five spaces in a direction chosen by the hive. That's so let's cool. see if it succeeds first. This is against, this is against your, your defense, obviously. Yeah. It fails. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's Bug's turn. Big Mama Bug's turn. <laughs> what now, player? I guess I can go. Um. One. Four. And then I'm going to use a quick action to activate Shepherd Protocol and move all these drones over here um including all these turrets because they are under my control and would you say that this deployable is under my control as well uh no it's not all technically right. a drone oh, that's <laughs> fair it's a deployable that's... that would um, be hilarious to just watch it like scoot around on its anchors yeah i, I can't control that with guide the flock um so yeah, they're all gonna be like touching me, uh, adjacent to the hexa hexagon that's touching me. Um, Your little army. My little mobile platform. Um, you can move any drones, even if they don't belong to you, right? That's correct. Even you including those me. belonging to other creatures, including those big scary clouds, which I'm gonna be pushing back towards their mama. Okay. Uh, how how far do they move? Up to four. I'm nice. Like moving them to max. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And pass. So that was my quick tech action. Uh, or quick action, tech action. So now as I'm going to be unloading all these little drones onto the mama, I'm going to be chirping in with my own skirmish from my gassed drone. And that's what I'll be starting off my series of, uh, I guess, four d20 rolls. Actually, hmm. 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 You know what? <sighs> Fuck it. Um, I'm gonna actually use a quick action to deploy another dirt turret. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Over here making a firing line. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be four rounds uh, going at them. I'm not skirmishing this round. So that's a 19, uh, which would be a total of... It would be a, it'd be a crit. Um, that's an 11. Uh, that's a 13 plus all my stuff. And that's another 13 plus my stuff. So the total of that 13 and everything is going to be a total of 14. And then that 19 becomes a 20. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually need to make a, a roll with um, my the turret that I just placed. As long as another drone turret hits something, uh, or as long as there's another successful attack, um, an allied character within range of 10 of a turret drone makes a successful attack, uh, then it's going to deal 3 kinetic damage as long as it has line of sight. Uh, okay. It will do 3, and you got these turrets firing. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gonna deal a total of eight. Can the turrets crit? Is one of those turrets a crit? Uh you want a twenty. Well it's uh it's just flat damage, so it's not okay. gonna do anything. But... Uh and then I'm also going to move these other drones over. Let's see. One four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And that's it for me. Bug time. One, two. I'm three. the bug. I'm the hive, motherfucker. <laughs> Not for long, Mr. <laughs> Launcher. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm hitting every single one. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of rolls. And with a lot of difficulty. <laughs> yeah, yeah they all have difficulty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start with Suki's and then go around until I get to the center. The last one will be for Rikud specifically. I like this okay. build. I was worried I wasn't gonna like this build, but I like this build. <laughs> it's okay, there was a there was a nat twenty on Suki's. No. So that's gonna hit regardless. Um uh, need two, four, six, eight, ten, so fourteen to plus. Jesus. He still has resistance. He still has resistance. Okay. That's so um, hilarious. <laughs> Okay, this thing is going, instead of taking four, it'll take two. Uh, this one will also take two. <sighs> the uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I like this a lot. This is fun. Okay, this one goes completely. Oh. Uh, let's see. I lost count. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You've done um, Suki's and one of the little blue guys. That's right, that's right. Um, oh, and the one up, up top 17. as well. D minus five. Yeah, that still hits. Okay, this thing's gonna take two, rather. Just two. This thing pretty much hit on everything except for the difficulty. Um, okay. Doesn't hit on this one or this one. It's gonna hit this little guy and he's gonna take two. All right. Okay, and uh, that's turn for bug. So back to the players. <sighs> bug time. I am the meme of that kid. I just sat here as everything like exploded around me, and only lost one turret, and I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally you're literally playing cow right now. You know what really bugs me too is that I realized I forgot that I have a protocol. I have accuracy on all my shots. Oh no. So, bad. so like this idiot by all accounts is a dead man walking. I'll fix that in the next turn. Um but yeah, Who's, no. Whose turn is it? Not me. I think we've all gone except for Suki. Yeah, unfortunately yeah. I'm I'm trying not to like throw myself into the melee with the queen because she's gonna stop moving if I do that. Honestly, but, that's um, not so bad. We can always move up to match her engagement range. And if you want to get in there and start slugging. We yeah, can but, always but move we'll have in. no cover. We'll have no cover if we do that, though. I mean, we're not going to like, like, heal for half at the start of every one of your turns. I know, but the rest of the team doesn't do that. But I'll move her drones away. You're the tank. You're not supposed to hide behind rocks. <laughs> well, I was, don't you give me shit. I was waiting for her to come over here. I didn't realize she only has, like, negative two movement. She has five movement. I think the issue She's is that I don't, think that's them. I don't think she wants to or needs to come any closer. If she sits at range to sort of fucks with You're us using her sensor right. abilities. Um, She'll keep spamming clouds until she drowns us, so it's probably best for her to just, go in there and beat the Also, the, the, the clouds are recharged, and I've been rolling sixes. Oh, no. oh god. <laughs> so yeah, um, we gotta deal with that like now. <laughs> you gotta deal with red stupid luck when he plays NPC. Can I um <laughs> can I move over the clouds or is it just like any 
No, you, have to, you, have to, you can go right through them, or you can go around them. Okay, I'm gonna go around then. A question, um, Red. When I you, shot one of the clouds, did it actually seem to cause any damage to it? Yeah, you or actually it, took out a good chunk of it. Okay, I wasn't sure if this is one of those, like, I fire into it and it kind of goes, like, cool on smoke. You, you took six burn, I thought. Yeah. Um, I did. I forgot to mark it down, but I'm just gonna heal it back anyway. Uh, you lose 12. Wait. Why do I lose 12? You took six burn. Oh, you have to make a, what, is it a system save to clear burn? I think that's right. Let me check. Uh, burn. Status is conditions. Burn, burn, burn. Ring of fire. I really wish that they Ignoring had burn. armor. At the end of the turn, characters marked burn must roll an engineering check. Okay, so make an engineering check. See if you take another six. Okay. Oh, darn. Okay. It's so hot. Mm -hmm. You're literally made of nano fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a fail. So you're going to take a total of 12, and then you'll heal. Is it rounded Ten. up when you heal? So yeah. you'll go up to 17. Relevant. I like how you took 12 damage, but I actually just took two. <laughs> <laughs> Heals. When you can just heal through the burst I also damage. Moved you out of your space, so my bad. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna move boost around over here. Okay. So and um, instead of attacking, now that me and Mama are going at it. I am gonna I activate. Do not like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna activate swarm body. So let me just copy and paste this because it's a big long ability. Okay. First one swarm is released at the end of my turn. Characters that start your turn in the area or enter it must succeed on a system save or take three kinetic damage. The amount increases by plus three damage for each of your turns that you remain stationary up to a maximum of nine kinetic damage. So uh, at, at the end of my turn, she'll be taking damage, and at the start of my turn, she'll be taking damage from all my nanites. Nice. Start their turn in the area or enter it on their turn. So now she's just going to take three. When she starts her turn. Unless you... Well, yeah, you had that other AoE effect. I don't remember how that Yeah. Was. It's my passive AoE. Okay, so... Well, what does that do specifically? That, do that will be thing? seven. She'll be taking seven if she... Um, here, I'll just... Let just post what I do, please. Uh... Scouring Swarm, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Baylor this... deals two kinetic damage, yeah, to characters of its choice. But I have my protocol activated, so, so it's four. four. Okay. So it'll be seven if she fails her system save. Nice. It's so sick. Free... Okay. It's free damage. <laughs> yeah. It's free damage. It's free damage real estate. <laughs> okay, uh, that's your turn. Um, just an yes. FYI, I still need to go because that was my held action. Oh beginning. shit, okay. Yeah, uh, no, I know. Uh, I forgot. I, this little bugger <laughs> I was gonna go protect mama. Oh, mama. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not quite in range to. Oh, hey, is he going adjacent to my little guy there? Not quite. Aww. <laughs> Do I dare make another missile attack on that fucking mob right there? Yes, oh, yes I do. Fucking end. Viewers oh, of... he's gonna get so fucked for this. Viewers <laughs> at home, please have mercy on my wretched soul. Okay, I can tell you that four of those aren't gonna hit. Five of those aren't gonna hit. <laughs> Oh my god, Red. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's just this, like, screen of red static as I just, like, hold my hand up and the bomb just, like, <laughs> erupts, like, off the side of it. Yeah, the only thing that takes damage is this, and it takes a whopping two. I look at my little guy, and I, like, look up at this guy, and I just, like, shake my head back and forth. <laughs> like, oh no, no, no. 
I need to drop tactical nukes on Derek, obviously. Uh, so let's. <laughs> I need to get a witch involved. That would be fucking devastating. Uh, oh God. Okay, well that is bug turn. Bug <laughs> turn. Um, I'm also going to activate my protocol. Okay. And I'm going to use my action to reload, and I'm going to move forward. What does your protocol do? Um, let me see. Here's it again. Doesn't know what a protocol does, activates it anyway. That's Sigma energy. Sigma's right set. Yeah. It should be. Rule number 12,700. Oh, I found it. Um. Think... Use your full power even if you don't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Do you gain resistance to heat for the rest of the scene? Yes. Yeah. Here, I'll just It's not all about taking heat. It is also my favorite, yes. <laughs> also the best name of a protocol in the entire game. Destruction of the Temple of the Enemies of Ra. Yeah. <laughs> Destruction of the Temples of the Enemy of Ra. Of, of Yes. Ra. One. Whenever you take heater energy, even from yourself, increase the value of your charge die by one. Whenever it reaches six, the absorbed energy discharge is going to burst to Inferno. Okay, so you can you can overcharge right now, take one heat, and boost for free. So that would up your die to one. Or start or up it to two, rather, because it starts at one. So, I get to move another four? Yeah, there's a boost. You can move through allied spaces, by the way. I'm not going to be particular about that. Okay. I believe that is my turn. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I believe that is everybody's turn. So that'll uh, we'll start with the lancers. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Build up more heat, Natalie. I want to see that you go nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> it's whenever yeah, you one. take heat too. So. Do it, do it, do it. Go on, Natalie. Get closer to the queen bug first. Better start zooming. <laughs> oh lord, she's zooming. Oh lord. Go on first. Yeah, if you want to. I don't have you. Uh, yeah, might as well. Oh. All I'm doing is reloading this turn, so. <laughs> You're good. I'm just gonna squash a bug. Um, Big. I can shoot her from here. Okay. Now that my gun is recharged, I'm gonna aim my howitzer at her. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! Does shooting a one generate heat with your howitzer? I wish it did. Damn. No, sadly. Your your plasma pistols that you get from your mech specifically uh, generate heat whenever you shoot them. Um, yeah. So yeah, I... we'll get you set up with your proper weapon equipment. Okay. I'm gonna move up four, and then I should be in range to hit her with my assault rifle. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Uh, it has reliable though, so how much is the reliable damage? Um, two or three. Two. Two. Okay. So I'll roll the howitzer again because technically you're, uh, you could hit this guy as well. Oh, yeah. That's a huge deal. Okay, yeah. add the inaccuracy unless you want to just use one of your accuracy to. Oh, yeah. Left. No, I have. You gave me four. Yeah. For my. Yeah, I'm Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Four. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Six damage. Okay, you do manage to hit this guy. the uh, the swarm The swarm seems to be trying to preserve uh, the mother. So you see the swarm just sort of like accidentally deliver the ordinance right into the uh, to the uh, one of the flies, and uh, it just like it hits him. <laughs> it just starts spitting. And okay. I would like to uh, overcharge take... boost. Yeah. Yes. Roll a d three for me. 
Don't go into the pink mist. Don't go into the pink mist. No, well, the pink mist deals heat, or actually does burn. Uh, so, yeah, no, actually, you don't want to go in the pink mist. Oh, uh, you said roll what again? D3. For how much heat you're taking from this one. D3? Mm-hmm. D3. I don't have that. Yeah, it's just a D6. One to two is one. Three to four oh. is two. Five to six yeah. is three. Yeah, so you just take a whopping one. So okay. Awesome. So your die goes up to three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, the countdown's coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, is, it is big old mama's turn. Uh, she's going to start her turn with a... She needs to make a system save. Okay. Uh, let me see what her system is. Okay. What is your DC? Uh, how do I determine that? Or what do it'll I be do? on your sheet. It'll see. It'll say save target. Save target. Save target. Eleven. Okay. Uh, it succeeds. Okay, so she's just gonna take four damage then. Okay. She looks to be in somewhat bad shape, uh, but not too bad. You can tell this thing is definitely not going down soon. Um. So let's see here. Take 66 AP damage. <laughs> That'll take it down. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, so it's going to deploy a Razor Swarm right on top of Suki. There you go. Get nice and tucked in. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, at the start of his turn, it gets to move these things, so it's going to move it here. It's going to move this one. Let's see. One, two... All right, Suki. Um, the Razor Swarm, hostile characters that start their area. Okay, so it's going to be start your turn in there. Uh, it's also technically touching the Oh, five. don't worry. Then I'll move them away from you, and you won't start your turn in it. <laughs> Unless you take your turn right after. Uh, all right, Suki. Uh, it's going to target you with 100 Killer Nexus. I should probably Ooh. move these back so they're not covering up your tokens. Uh, at least on my screen. Uh, so you're going to take double shots from Hunter Killer Nexus. So let's see if it hits. You have to. Uh, is there any difficulty here? Um. Yes, I have soft cover. Okay. So from my. Hit. Yeah, from my. Okay, both are going to hit no matter what. Uh, nice. So you're going to take six burn. Ow! So you're at a total of twelve burn per turn now. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so you are at 12 stacks. Oh no. Burn is really strong. You want me to go next so I can move those things off of you and keep it from getting you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please, please, please. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. On is it is it my turn yet or? Is it uh, it just <clears throat> it deployed one of these as a quick action. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you guys are going to take the burn from the Razor Swarms at the start of your turns. Okay. Okay, Suki, you just took 6, so you should be down to 11. And you're going to take 12 at the start of your turn. Oh, boy. That's bad. I'm on a structure. Wait, do I do I heal or do I take damage first? What happens? The damage is going to happen first. I'm the GM, so I'm gonna say that's how it works. Because <laughs> if you stupid, you look like... at these like little pink clouds, like um, that little black spot in the very middle is a butthole, and it's like legs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that's all I see. Now. Why? Oh, <laughs> I'm no longer scared of the clouds. <laughs> yeah, it, it has like a hand down there. It's like goat seeing you. Oh. oh my god, I'm even more horrified of the clouds now. <laughs> it's all I can uh, see, Derek. Thanks. I just see like a naked lady's body in there. That's all I see. So no, that sounds dirty. Like, I'm gonna destroy that cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We're doing right. this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass the turn over to the players. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my quick action to uh, guide the flock again. Uh, and I'm gonna move those clouds away from my homies first and foremost. Um, if okay. I move them onto the queen, will it damage her? Uh, no, it's actually giving her cover. Okay, then I'm gonna move them away, uh, over to the right. So, like, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And one, two, 
three, four, and five cliff. And then one, two, Okay. Uh, uh, Suki, this thing is like being in a bee's nest, by the way. You're close enough to it to where these little nanites are just constantly plunking against the side of yours, and it's like co providing constant interference. You're going to take even more burn because you're that close to it. Oh, boy. Go to your turn. So. One, two, four. And I love the fear of these drones. As well. Okay, um, so then we're going to move ourselves over here, and we're just going to keep, uh, just to make sure that everything is within our line of sight, and I'm still going to keep those little two blue drones uh, adjacent to me as well, uh, with Guide the Flock. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to fucking unleash hell on this motherfucker that thought that he was going to be clever and hit me with a bomb when I wasn't looking. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to skirmish on him with my gas nexus. Uh, okay. That's uh, 15. 15 hits. Okay, nice. so that is going to be... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, max damage of 9. Ooh, Explosive okay. damage. How you want to do it? Uh, yeah, so, like I said, I was just holding my hand out with that, like, explosion came off, and then, like, uh, a little bit of the explosion, like, wrapped around it and hit my drone, and I, like, looked at it, looked at this guy, shook my head, and then just, like, kind of, like, flicked a finger at it, and then the drone that took the damage was my gas drone, and it just unleashes this, like, massive red beam that just absolutely annihilates the bug. There's, like, there's nothing left. It's just smoldering ash in the wind, and then I'm going to turn the rest of the guns on um, this other little bug next to the queen, um, that's gonna be... Do they have rain? They moved with me. With guy oh, the they rock. moved? Oh, that's right, okay. So they're gonna be like, here and here. Yeah, adjacent to me, so they still okay. benefit from resistance. Um, and that's gonna, gonna be... Cover it's not relevant anymore. <laughs> uh, that's a nine, and that is a... Uh... Eight. But they have reliable two, so that's four damage. Because they took damage, they take an additional three damage from my other drone. Uh, not that it matters, because oh. he was already wounded by Natalie's howitzer. So this thing's just gonna get ripped apart by, like, just a bunch of different projectiles <laughs> and, like, a razor blade just ripping it in half, just because it could. <laughs> just explodes into nothingness, and there's only the mama left. Uh, Perfect. We're wide open, folks. Let's make it happen. I say over the comms. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to challenge the mama to a duel to the death. <laughs> well, it's your you turn. Can go now. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna you're gonna take twelve burn. Let's see if you structure. Roll that d six. Okay. Six, 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 six. Give me a six. Give me a six. Give me a six. Come on, blow on my dice, guys. Oh, oh, no. oh. Damn. oh. Who was sucking oh. on the dice? <laughs> okay, she you're gonna take damage. <laughs> I love the way you suck on dice, Derek. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's roll a d6 to see how you're Okay. <laughs> That's all the way. Roll a 5, glancing blow. Is that what that is? I believe. Oh. Where's the demo? I don't remember the structure. What page the structure table is uh, on? Five Probably. is a glancing blow. Uh, you are impaired until the start of your next turn, so you make everything. You do everything uh, with a d6 penalty. So okay. it just have difficult difficulty Jay, on everything. Tax, yep, everything until right. your next glancing blow. Um, glancing blow. I didn't move though, so my. You feel so you took that one damage over your cap uh, and put it down to 18, and now you're back up to 19. Look at that. Damn. Yeah. Um, swar my swarm body goes up to six damage. I get it because you're remaining stationary. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, y'all, y'all hear Suki's mech let out a very unearthly, then like bone shattering groan as all the burns just shredding into the Baylor. No. Poor baby. Um, okay, um, I'm just gonna barrage. I, uh, can't, I can't move, I'm just gonna 
I will challenge this thing to the death, and I am... Who is not gone yet? Remind me. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. Um, gonna... Yeah, okay. all, you, all I'm going to be doing is just dropping my drone and reloading, so don't worry yeah. about it. I also have to reload. Okay, I'm going to issue a command to Derek, so Derek, you get a um, another um, accuracy. Nice. Through, like, heavy breathing and Pain, a very pain tone you hear, Suki, switch on your comm. Help me take this fucking thing out. And I'm gonna issue a- this thing is challenged, so if Derek misses, he has- um, he can re-roll. Hmm. Consider the boob challenge. Yeah, nice. bug is- bug has been challenged. <laughs> By a lot of firepower, let's go. <laughs> bug meat boot. Bug meat boot, indeed. Um, I'm, cowboy people, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna swing and I'm gonna shoot. Okay. So, in, in order, hammer gun. That's plus two, I don't think I hit either of those. You hit on the first one. Oh, I do? Okay. Yeah. I've been rolling, that's my third nat one. It's my third or fourth nat one. This, this is not my session. Yeah, it's Sorry. Mine. Shut up. <laughs> um, that's... That's seven damage. Okay, it's Ow. going to structure. Nice! God, God damn this bug and its structure. So we still have another, like, 50 damage to do to this fucking thing? Uh, well, I think it just got stunned. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so maybe not so much. Uh, okay, so it's going to take... How much damage? Seven. Five. Seven total. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It uh, structured once, so it is stunned. It cannot do anything on its turn. So, nice. y'all just feel free to wail on it. <laughs> wail on 100%. the motherfucker. Wait on your reloading. Shoot this bitch. Actually, I can do one better. So should be pretty fun with this. Actually. Does it have armor? What's up? Does it have armor, by the way? Oh. Actually, I think it does. Oh, that's one armor. Okay. One why'd armor. you- one why'd armor. you ask? We should Damn you! It. Sorry. Shred it. I could shred it, just to let you know, but... Go ahead. <laughs> shred it well, then, well, then do that. Uh, it's not Derek, I thought you were gonna pull out, like, a fucking tech deck or something and start showing <laughs> off on stream. I mean, I can shred it on its turn, is when I can shred it, not even on my turn, actually. So, yeah. if it goes in between Suki and Omni, then I can shred it, but that's- that's why I bring it up. I don't know that if it goes again because it's already gone. I don't know. Well, Omni and Natalie need to take their turn. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead, Natalie. Literally, I can't even. I can't shoot it from this range without reloading. So. Okay. Um, and I guess since I get a free shot at it, I will hit it with my assault rifle because I haven't reloaded my howitzer. Assault rifle, not a pepper rifle. <laughs> mm. uh, they came in a set, but I lost one. <laughs> there. Um, that's an eight. I don't think I add anything to it. it was like a plus one at least. No, I'm just gonna use a um, accuracy. I don't think that hits right. Uh, let's see. Eight plus the ac eight does hit. Oh, oh, it does? Nice. This thing's pretty sizable, it's hard to miss. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I need to reload. Right. Six damage. Nice. Okay. And nice, tasty uh, five damage. Four. Right up on it. Okay. And that's my turn. <clears throat> Are you going to uh, take some heat so you can get to the get the clock to four? Yeah. <laughs> You you can uh, you can do a, another quick action of your choice. Oh, so it doesn't have to just be a boost. Don't know what else I can do. Do you have any equipment that you can deploy? Uh, <laughs> the dirt can take. Give <laughs> <laughs> me another drone. I've got a lot of shit. <laughs> my equipment is. Where would I see that? It would be down at the bottom of the mech. Yeah, they bottom of the mech tree. Um, mm. I don't 
think so. What systems do you have equipped? Ammo case two, personalization, smite, type three protocol shield, custom paint job, and Eva module. Oh, okay. That's right, you do have the uh, you have smite, which is pretty yeah. nice. I don't remember what smite, isn't that a quick tech? I think um, so. What's it do? I can either smite or sear. Smite, I take 1d6 AP energy damage, and a target must succeed on a system save or become stunned until the end of their turn. Each character can only be stunned by this effect once per scene. Okay. And then sear, also 1d6 AP damage, but I deal two heat to the target for each. Um, Deal two heat to your target for each other character of size one or larger that is engaged with or adjacent to them, including you, up to a maximum of six heat. So if I did that, I would take six heat. Um, <clears throat> uh, no, it, it you would take one d six AP damage. It would take um, see size one or. This is including you. Would take two heat. I would take two heat. I mean, that'll give me some heat, so can I say that I did that? Are yeah, you still heat. be generating your heat from using the quick action? You'd be generating heat twice, yeah. So uh, roll the roll the d6 to see how much heat you take from uh, overcharging. Six. Okay, you do overheat, so I'm, <laughs> this is the first time we've seen anybody overheat, so I'm, I'm very uh, excited uh -oh. to... Uh, Yay, it triggers the Temple of Ra. <laughs> I'm gonna say I was on this side, so hopefully I don't hit um at least. <laughs> okay, so when you when you reach heat cap, uh, there's also there's an overheating table, just like there's a structure table. Okay. Um, so w w when you overheat with your mech, does it do anything specific? Um, I don't you just push their clock to like five. Could you take heat also from using that sear, right? Yeah. So you're almost at six. You're almost at the doomsday clock. <laughs> um, I don't think your mech does anything directly from overheating. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think it try. actually is like, yeah. I think the whole trick is you get all this awesome power, but it's also really suicidal. It doesn't power to any counters to it. I, I do actually have something I can do. Passive charged exoskeleton. Once per round, when you take heat, you may deal two AP energy damage yeah, to a right. character within range three. Okay, it takes two. Okay. Um, okay, so it says, AP. The clock. It said three AP, right? It said AP three? Two AP. Two AP. No, oh, two, two AP. AP. I thought you said three AP. I'm sorry. I'm that's three. whenever you take heat once per turn. It's really strong. Oh, that's fucking awesome. So the idea is you're taking heat every turn. Um, Okay, so on the overheating table, please roll a d6 for it. Roll. Three. Okay. Uh, let's see. Three is destabilized power plant. <laughs> this hey. is funny. Your power plant becomes unstable, beginning to eject jets of plasma. Uh, your mech becomes exposed, so you take double uh, kinetic, explosion, and energy damage until it's cleared. Okay. <laughs> Which entertainingly is going to overclock the shit out of the Temple of Ra. Which entertainingly is not going to do anything to you because this thing is only dealing burn. <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, wow. So you're, you're safe. Oh <laughs> shit. So you're exposed. Like, enemy. The spines <laughs> on your back you like shoot burned. out and you're like ejecting plasma like a, like a, like a sink. But you're not like, you're not really taking any. I'm like, fine guys. <laughs> I'm okay. Just a flesh wound. What could go wrong? I'm just fucking. <laughs> Next I, I will... do this, right? <laughs> I will reiterate that whoever was like, you're gonna go do some research on your. Here, take this mech. And they gave you the most suicidal mech for the sole purpose of never wanting to see you again. That's, That's really funny, because all the help you've gotten so far has been, like, detrimental. Including the help that we didn't even talk about, like how you got the frame. Right. Like everybody has literally just wanted to kill you. So I want to know how bad your movies were to people want to kill you. They're pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, dude, where's my spaceship? Oh, God. 
<laughs> that one didn't do good at the box office. You were in Space Tub Time Machine. I, I know you even had that fucking, like, whole scene that was, like, uh, what's the word, like, edited into in post of uh, Space Morbius. Space Morbius. Oh, yeah. released that, like, three times, dude. <laughs> you were the reason why Space Superman had his mustache edited out. The box yeah. yep. like twelve dollars. Now I, I have a bumper sticker on her Mac that says I'm about to morb. <laughs> dating the actor at the time, and I insisted he have a mustache. So. <laughs> <laughs> can relate. I mean, he did do that cool reloading his fist thing, though. So <laughs> that was my suggestion, actually. <laughs> I love when my fist makes shotgun pumping noises. Whose turn is it anyway? I think um, it's Omni's. Yeah, I think it's me. I don't have much I can really do here, so... Natalie, keep in mind, uh, if you overheat again, it works much like structure. If you roll multiple ones, your mech goes into, uh... Meltdown. <laughs> Irreversible Meltdown, which means you suffer a reactor meltdown at the end of your next turn. Extra fun. Okay. What so, could go wrong? Reactor meltdown means you explode. Oh, I explode. You explode. <laughs> you explode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's going to happen is that uh, ar around the corner, um, actually, we'll, just, we'll say right. There's no reason for us to move. I'm just going to boost like one to get over here. Um, he sort of laterally scoots, and as he does, his truck pops off the back again. And, uh, I should have him somewhere. I didn't get rid of him. Let's put him to the side. Oh, Just I got rid of him. Just to fuck with you. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, put him right, uh, yeah. okay, there we go. You, there, in the corner, be safe. Oh. Um, as he puts help, as, uh, he puts helper down, and help he immediately extends its arms, begins reloading him. Uh, so that's a quick action. And, uh, I will be able to... Fire normally next round and fire every round after on this guy. So we should be pretty good from here on out. Means. Yeah, I actually here's the thing, I had another thing I could have done, which is hammer rounds. The problem is it would knock both you <coughs> and Natalie out of out of uh out of place, possibly knock you prone and damage you. Oh shit. For like only two damage, which wouldn't oh, have been yeah. one. I appreciate <laughs> For a whopping two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> We'll just stick to bombarding this person the old-fashioned way. That's all I got, Red. Keeping it easy. Okay. Just reloading. Got it, boss. Yeah. Okay. Deploying uh, drone well, for, a faction, for a quick action, then reloading for a quick action. Bug is stunned. Um, so it can't take any actions, but it can move its nanite swarms. So. Protect mother. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Okay, well, back to the Lancers, because this thing is was stunned. So. Um, let, I, let me move up. I <laughs> take it out. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 no, any, can it make a system save when it's done, or does it automatically fail? What do you mean? At the start of its turn, can you make a system save, or does it automatically fail? What are you talking about? The my my nanites. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, I would still make a save. Just can't take any action. Also, uh, it succeeds. Can it also make an agility save? Because if sure. not, it's next to my snare save and it's going to be immobilized. Why do you guys like abusing the creatures that throw it? <laughs> I rolled a Look. one. Okay, this it's is also a... immobilized. I can't um, move. You're just beating it to death. <laughs> It's okay. This is for all the roaches that have appeared during why, the game. Why can it still do some save? Um, I, yeah, I'm giving Omni a redemption arc. He's lucky <laughs> for that roach that showed up in the last stream. I'm letting him fight bugs. It's it's between me out. and Elise, we've both been terrified by Mr. Kukaracha. This is Kukaracha's last <laughs> last rodeo. Uh, well, just just so we're clear, uh, it can't move even once it's not stunned anymore. It can't move until that drone is destroyed or no longer adjacent. Or they Jeez. succeed on an agility save with a quick action. So, let's say you waste an action to try and clear that condition. Um, then yeah, it's it's stuck. Uh, and that's like the... not on my turn. That's on its turn. So yeah. Natalie, if you would be so kind as to annihilate this thing, 
I like the idea of like this little like drone, this little like snare drone. It literally just threw like a really tiny net, and it's like, and now the thing can't move at all. It's tiny, this tiny little net. net. Like it is net. An evil, evil net. <laughs> it's tiny. Do you remember that movie? One, one million <laughs> net. Oh, I was, I was pulling uh, Kung Pao. The oh, you sound like you're doing the fucking Doctor Evil voice. No, I mean he just has that voice. <laughs> Never seen Austin Powers. Yeah, Can I don't you like Austin Powers. I don't really think it's a well, movie. It was kind of okay. goofy, but that was the point. It was a product of the nineties. Now you wouldn't like it, but if twelve-year-old Derek had seen it, you would have been. That was when fan. I originally saw it. Yeah, oh. baby. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was kind of lame. No. Oh. Damn. Okay. I thought you said you hadn't seen it. My bad. Okay, so uh, Natalie, what you can do. <laughs> I'm you gonna. I'm, I'm teaching you some things here. Walk uh, back four paces and then i'm gonna use my pinky oh, those four drones <laughs> oh yeah it's fine and then i walk forward four use giving myself another burn what you can do is full action and clear your heat and then use an over or you, you can you can overcharge to get heat again and then up your, your clock to six okay it's goofy as fuck, but that you can do that. <laughs> I will do that. So I use an action, you say? Yeah, use a full action to clear your heat. And I will reload. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Let me double check. I want to make sure that when you uh, when you when you start uh, overcharging, I'm pretty sure when you clear your heat, it. Resets. I'd be surprised if there wasn't just like something written into the rules, like you can add, you can add a heat as a quick action or something. You know what I mean? Like, uh, well, that's what overcharge is essentially. Yeah. It's oh, a that's what overcharging now. is. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you you you, uh, it, you it progressively gets worse. So you get, um, you could you take one heat, then a D three, then a D six, and then a D six plus four, and you can reset it. Okay. And then then it, mm -hmm. it's always a D six plus four if you ever go to that point. Uh, let me double check overcharge. Um, let's see. A full repair resets the counter. Okay. Yeah. So then, full repair. Churches. Okay. It takes at least 10 hours and a full repair to recover all HP. Okay, that's not what I'm looking I think for. I have time for that. Mm -hmm. I think a full repair is technically a... Where is a full repair? I thought that was a... I could have sworn that a full repair... You could do that during a mission, I guess not. Okay, a full repair. Okay, yeah, so no, uh, you cannot reset the clock. My bad. So you're going to take a D6 plus 4. So you could technically um, blow up, but it'd be funny. So <laughs> your, your thing would still proc, right? <laughs> Roll a D6 plus 4. There is a chance you don't overheat. D6 plus 4? <laughs> yes. If you roll a one, you don't overheat. Oh. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so, you have a heat cap of, uh, of six. You rolled a five. So, you just went to 11. So, you not only went over, you went up to five on your next one. Uh, so, roll 2d6 for me. Let's, let's see how this goes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Did you just go thermonuclear? Oh. I, yeah, at the end of your turn. <laughs> Holy fuck, Natalie. You did it, Natalie. You won Lancer. You're Holy amazing. shit. Do you folks remember what I told you about, like, how I wanted to get a heat thing to clear my heat from firing my big gun because I was afraid I would explode? <laughs> yeah, you just I, I I was like Omni's talking so much about this is gonna happen gonna this happen. section, I didn't but I didn't it think it was gonna happen to you. Okay, I, so you multiple ones you you suffer a reaction meltdown at the end of your next turn. Yeah, so you have to get out of your mech and get the fuck away because what's gonna happen is you have a reactor meltdown, which means in a burst two area. Your mech explodes and does 4d6 explosive damage. So it's going to do 66 AP energy damage, and then and it's going to do 46 explosive. explosive damage. Jesus Christ! That's a nice is... level fireball from 5th edition in Lancer. 
So, so wait, so it's just gonna like continually do more and more damage? What's going on? I'm, no, I'm, not only roll your sixty six AP because you have reached your you have reached the six on your clock. So the Temple of Raw thing is going off right first. That's the yes, sixty six energy yeah. AP damage. That's then serious. it's the forty six fucking thermonuclear explosive damage when the mech goes kablooey. Well, and it burst next two radius, so you better get the fuck away. So, there, like, te like 10 d6 damage is going off right now? The 4 not, d6 not is going off right at the now. end of her next turn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Sadly, yeah, roll 6 d6 for me. Okay. There is another alternative, I hate to bring it up, but... You could also stay in your mech and benefit from castigate the enemies of the Godhead. What, you want Natalie's character to commit suicide? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying what it does is that an one do? option. Uh, it turns the blast from, like, 66 to 8d6. I think it's gonna die either way. You're not wrong. The mech's gonna <laughs> die, you don't have to go with it. <laughs> Let me ask, are you yeah. gonna- are you gonna give Suki the courtesy of letting her know that you're going thermonuclear? Yes, um... Suki, <laughs> get the hell out of here, I'm about to blow. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm overheating. There's like plasma leaking out of my suit. It's really hot in here, which is great for my pores, but terrible for the situation. Oh my god. Dude, hot yoga right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see that damage, Nana. Um, I don't know how to go up to six, because I only see five on here. Just do slash R. Oh. Well, I'm gonna roll another one. Okay, you so you're gonna do 25 <laughs> AP damage. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. Okay, you don't quite kill it, but you just take a fucking chunk out of the side of it. Uh, I was gonna make a Breaking Bad reference, but I don't want to spoil that for anyone. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's been like 10 years. I haven't seen it. <laughs> what? You haven't seen it, but you're gonna spoil it. Yeah. Natalie, Natalie, you have to crawl up inside the mama and jump out while you <laughs> then goes nuclear. Like a tauntaun. Like, like a tauntaun. Ta -ta you have to do the inside out reverse burrito tauntaun on him right now. Like, just you know, like we when, practiced. When I said that Pacific like Rim music was going off in my head, I didn't mean one of you guys had to reenact Gypsy Danger blowing up at the end of the movie. Okay, okay. so you're at, so Natalie, are you going to have your Mac crawl inside of the fucking orifice you just made of it? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> 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 You're just like jetting plasma. So I can still get out of the mech. Yeah, you can still eject. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me check and see what. Uh, I go in, back in the first. Well, You're gonna means. climb in and you can like angle it to where you can just like shoot outwards. You probably want to start <laughs> running as soon as you get out though. Okay, so, it, it, so this technically happens at the end of your next turn. So this next coming turn. Do you want Elise to go first so she can get clear? Yes, most definitely. Land yeah, on so my like... drone and I'll recall you on my drone. <laughs> trying to find where a jack oh, is cool. in the actions. Well, quicker a full. Get in her. Out of the Mac. Considering um, how many big coup de gras I've had in the campaign, this seems very fitting to be the one that takes this one. I'm this curious how much... Top. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Anyway, uh, yeah, Natalie, uh, on your next turn, you can eject as a quick action and just kind of like launch yourself. That's exactly what I plan on doing. Okay, um, it is Boog's turn. <laughs> uh, it's going System to deal... save. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh... <laughs> now we really are kicking. God it off damn down. it! <laughs> I don't- I was about to say I don't make the rolls, but that is exclusively what I do. Uh, yeah. so let's see here. Um, I rolled a 23, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, I'm double-checking something real quick, because I'm curious about the speed of a human on the ground. I'm looking at my drone. speed is four. Speed is four. Okay. Well, no, it's, it depends on your suit, what kind of hard suit you're wearing. Oh, well, true. What kind of hard suit are you wearing? Um... Uh, well um, that's gonna be on my character, right? Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be on your pilot. I mean, if she's ejecting, she's ejecting, like, up into the air, right? I yeah. have an assault heart suit. Okay. Speed of four. 
So okay, yeah. so you, what happens when you eject is you eject uh, adjacent to the mech, and then you can move. So you have four spaces to move after you eject. So let me see here. Uh, this thing is actually going to take damage from Suki's thing, and it's gonna structure again. Okay, it rolled a three and a four. It does not have much structure left in it. Um, <laughs> let's see, structure damage table. Three and a four system trauma, so it's going to take two system traumas, so it's going to lose. Okay. Uh, it's going to lose its weapon. Nice. Maybe a system. Double check. It's going to lose a weapon and a system, yep. Uh, well, it's going to lose its, it's going to lose its uh, Nexus thing that it's been using to put a shit ton of burn on you. Um, you see these things just start burning from the inside out. Nice. Um, nice. So it'll lose its nexus, and it will lose. Do I be a dick? Hmm. It'll lose drone barrage. It'll keep its razor swarms. Uh, oh yeah, I need to double check and see if it gets its razor swarms back. It does. Yay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna deploy another razor swarm. Oh, right. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. So, so where is Natalie? I'm on the other side of it. Other side, yeah. Or, oh, yeah. okay. So you're not at, out of. Are you out of your mech yet, or? No, no. she has to do that on her next turn. Okay. Um. But isn't she like imploding at the end of this turn? No, end of her the next end of turn. My next turn. Oh, end of her next turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, bug. Bug make improvised attack, I guess. <laughs> um, Flail. Flail. Screech. Um, <laughs> Can it even do that now that it has a mouth mech? <laughs> uh, it's gonna try. I don't remember how to actually make an improvised attack. I think it's just a d20. Plus it. It's Let's not gonna see. hit anyone. Well, it might, it'll hit... Well, Suki has cover, right? I have soft cover. cover. Okay. It's not gonna do anything. Then. Okay. Um, improvised attack. See. Full action. Uh... I wish you would show me the damn. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it for its turn. <laughs> yeah. You want me to move the clouds again so you don't take more burn? Um, that would be nice, yes. Also, um, I'm gonna actually stay here and grab, grab Arkin and fly out. I was gonna get her with the drone, but that works too. What the would be most efficient? Clouds, Arkin can move four spaces after she ejects at, in her human form. Yeah, the blast is only two, so they should be. Yeah. Fine. Oh, okay. It's, it's gonna be okay. a big blast, but it's not gonna be like you can't. It's not like she can't escape from it. I get to do the slow motion run as the bugs exploding <laughs> behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to and do the And you don't get to look at the explosion because you're too cool. Yes. Oh yeah. Sunglasses just magically appear on my face. Um, <laughs> they just they just fall from the shrapnel and perfectly land on your face. Then to save uh, the homies from more burn, I'll just I'll I'll go so I can move those clouds again. Um, okay, so these drones are gonna these drones are gonna take burn at the start of their turn, so they're gonna take four burn each. That's fine. I'm gonna be recalling them anyways, except for the snare drone. I want it to keep that one right where it is. Okay. If uh, if. If Natalie wants to run away from the explosion, then uh, she can run away from the explosion. I'll recall that. I'll recall those drones over to me as a quick action. Um, and move those clouds away with uh, that same... Uh, or with uh, my other quick action of Guide the Flock. Okay. So we one, two, three, four... This is such a weird fight. Just imagine, like, these these little bugs are, like, swarming in, and they're like, no, and they're like, oh, no. <laughs> this is, like, going back and forth. I imagine I'm just, like, making these, like, red electrostatic, like, hexagramic shields of energy, just, like, kind of, like, blocking around my homies, and the, the bugs are, like, swarming backwards to try to reposition to flood back in or something, probably. Cosmic mosquito net. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, yeah, I mean, just for the shit of it, the the turrets are going to continue shooting into the mama. Okay. Please. By all means. Yep. 
Nice. Yeah, another, 15 hit. another eight plus um uh it's another eleven damage. Oh, those little guys are gonna take three burn as well. Just within three of the boog. Actually, this guy's gonna take three as well. Whoops, not negative though. Ah, uh, what was he, 11? Go to 11. 3. Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, how much damage is being dealt? 11. 11, okay, that'll be armor, so... 11, that'll be 9. Okay. Moved him away. This little guy's just gonna go down with the ship, I guess. <clears throat> he's, he's holding her down, still. Yeah, with that tiny little net, little fishing net. <laughs> I imagine it's like... Red energy pins, but sure. We could say it's yeah, a tiny no. net. Yeah, it's a tiny net. Thanks. My game, my rules. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's my game, and I say it's a tiny, tiny net! <laughs> it's a good image, though. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, is that your turn, Derek? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Boog already took her turn, so it's back to the players again. At least you want to move away before I explode. It's a leap. Uh... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and get the hell out of dodge since I've been getting my ass beat. Okay, you're taking um, 12 burn and and then you're gonna take 3 from starting yeah. within this thing's range, so you're gonna yeah, take like 15 yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll heal, gonna, uh, I'll heal a, for uh, 10. Is it engineering? Oh. No, Fail. you're still taking the burn. <clears throat> so you're up to 15 every turn now. Oh boy. You can just move away full action, clear it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Because okay. I'm just taking so much. Um, you took 13 and then gain 10, so you just only ended up taking 3 total. I took 5 total. You healed 10, took... Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Duh. I have... I'm gonna... Move... Measure from this hex. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'll move here and then I'm gonna... Just clear my burn, cause there's just way too much burn going on. <clears throat> okay. You're gonna uh, stabilize, which uh, stabilize allows you to do one of multiple things, and you're just gonna clear your burn. So that's fun. <clears throat> you're just literally on fire. At these little like nanites that literally just injected themselves into your nanites and started burning like thermonuclearly hot. Jesus, yikes! It's like a really bad bee sting. Ugh, yeah, y'all can hear Suki's mic groaning. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, then I'm gonna toss it over to Omni, though. All right. Um, honestly, Red, how is it looking? Is it looking okay in any way, shape, or Um. Well, um, <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> it has quite a bit of health left, quote unquote, in a statistical way, but it's not looking good. If you get drop it to zero again, it's probably done for okay um so here's what i'm gonna do uh he is going to here's the thing if i shoot it and i'd structure it i don't want to basically natalie i don't want to take this away i'm gonna <laughs> yeah, have this thing blow up no matter what you're, you're not this thing that does have enough health to where you're not gonna kill it in a single okay game. if that's the case then good i or if that's the case more damage I'm, I'm, beforehand, the better. Everybody gets their exactly. wins in. Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> I want to get this thing as close to that as possible. We can guarantee get the dunk on it. It's I like that scene like, from, uh... Fuck uh, you, buddy. Like, instant kill it. Also, like, I'd be so pissed if I explode and Red's like, and it still has one health left. <laughs> like, no. That was my big fear. That's why I was like, I that know... That is something that would happen in my it's game. I really, hope, I really hope that Nick has learned not to do that from now on, because that used to happen to me all the time in our Descent into Avernus <laughs> campaign, and it generally just made me so salty, because he was just like, oh no, it only has one health. <laughs> Such a shame, and the fucking player that came after me would take my take my kill all the time. I don't have to tell you, I'm playing by the rules. Okay. We can literally just so. go here, Elise. You've been working 
working really hard for this thing, it's dead. Instead you attacked, of you attacked right. and smited. You weren't working that hard. All right, ladies, ladies, you're all beautiful. Let me do my turn, then we can wash th Natalie go thermonuclear <laughs> on this thing. <laughs> um, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to. I realize I actually have my accuracy left over because I didn't need to use it to be accurate earlier with protocol. So I still have an accuracy floating here. So I'm going to use accuracy on my accurate bow of Euphrates because I have the protocol up. So it cancels on the, the inaccurate and I get an accurate die. Um, so big boom against big bug. That's a 16 and adding the extra die on it because I, I declared it. Why did I roll a D20? Jesus Christ, that was an at 20. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. But no, it's a four. So does 20 hit the bug? <laughs> if I said uh, no, would you call me a liar? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, uh, I, I wouldn't. I just know you're fucking with me. Yeah. Um, that said, it does take 10 explosive damage. As that was a pretty right. solid shot. Um, so it fires and the beam arcs up and comes back down. And a polychromatic blast of energy bursts over there off the side so we don't damage Natalie's mech. Um, mm -hmm. And the second he does that, the little drone around the corner immediately jumps on and begins pushing the reactor cores back in, That's letting cool. it recompress and charge again. And uh, <laughs> help you do in his little dance. And uh, immediately overcome, you just hear him say, all right, uh, ready for the boom when you are. And he just sort of like clenches <laughs> down and puts his, ear, his uh, fingers on the sides of his mech's head like he's getting ready to plug his ears. That's me, Chief. There was not much to it. <laughs> okay. Well, turn start. Back to the Lancers. All right. Let me say, I'm sick of these motherfucking bugs on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> and I hit the next button. <laughs> you can attack first, because it's a quick action to eject. So if you would want to make a quick attack and then get out and move, you could do that. Just to assure that it's dead. I'm... I'm Hinting heavily at something here. Alright. Can I shoot it with my um, cannon? Go ape. <laughs> it's gonna hit your mech, but your mech's going tits up anyway, so it's not gonna matter. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use accuracy. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's what you needed. <laughs> you needed exactly eight. So, alright, let's see what the howitzer does. There we go. Eight damage. Just a point not blank bad. howitzer. <laughs> You don't like it. Well, I, I'm like hanging out, like my legs are inside the bug, and the rest of my torso is outside of the bug. So I twist around, and I literally just put the barrel of the howitzer up against its flesh and discharge <laughs> while hitting the eject button. So the blast from the howitzer also kind of like pushes me back. <laughs> Okay, this is your little token right here, that little ant-sized token. <laughs> it was <laughs> so small. Uh, there's, here, oh, I'll give you control of it. There you go. There you go. Run! Run! <laughs> run! <laughs> as far away as my tiny light. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you wanna roll the 46? I've never seen a fucking mech explode like this. This is fucking great. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that right there, that's some spicy meatball. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't want this thing to structure and fucking live after that. I'll, I'll roll just out of curiosity. It's 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 done for. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you fire your howitzer into this thing just to like pour salt on the wound, and then you just see this really bright light from the inside of this thing and it just explodes with plasma and strange biomechanical viscera just fucking everywhere and it oh, leaves man. a massive crater in the ground so Shit, yeah did it, you guys. <laughs> what'd you say i did it you guys <laughs> you did it. I, thought, I thought you asked me if it missed <laughs> 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 It technically has to make an agility save, but I'm not gonna have it make an agility save. It's literally- you're fucking literally stuffed inside of the goddamn thing, it's not me. <laughs> that was sick. Hell yeah, that was good job. Thank that you. was awesome. Oh god. 
The swarm's gonna, oh. the, the swarm just kind of dropped to the ground and acted. If I had to lose my mech suit, that was a good way for it to go. <laughs> and the best part is you just get to reprint it over the course of a couple of days and you'll be A-OK. Yeah, you're right. You can just do it all over again. <laughs> Just, just do that. That's your goal now, Natalie, is to do that at least once a session. Right? <laughs> My main goal is to blow up and then act like, like I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was perfect. This is exactly oh what she did. Oh my god. Oh my god. I genuinely hope that you become like either a non human person or one of those like computer copies of a person and just like every session go like, Well guys, it's been fun. I'll see you all in therapy. Boom. <laughs> like every session. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye everyone, I'll see you all in therapy. Fucking <laughs> explodes. This massive ball of plasma. No, th this th this explosion was so violent that yeah, also this little guy is he's, he's, he's not <laughs> yeah, he's <gone. laughs> I hope so. He'll be fine. <laughs> He's literally just a melted piece of plastic and metal on the ground. He just needs a nap. But he resists damage. Oh my god, yeah, no, he would have been really gone. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Alright, so... <laughs> Suki, uh, even from inside of the mech, you practically get a sunburn, even though you don't have human skip. Uh, but yeah. You guys dispatch the gun or the bug threat, and you hear this guy yell, "Okay, I got the mech online. Where are they?" <laughs> I forgot he was even there. <laughs> I did too. He's struggling like, with his mech the whole time. <laughs> Job's done, Mike. We're, we're all set. Someone come pick me up. <laughs> Help. I feel I'm quite vulnerable. <laughs> Is that you all the way over there? Yeah, it's tidy little speck. I know he doesn't have movement, but can I send Helpy over to give them a ride back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Alright. Adorable it's... bouncy robot you can ride on. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's much faster than Suki, even though it's much tinier. And to, to okay. See the bail, Baylor lumbering over in that direction, and then it just realizes it and starts walking back, sounding like, huffing like it's exhausted. <laughs> okay, that was combat for the session, so we're gonna move back to this screen. Well, oh my um, god. You guys uh, finished your mission. We did so, it! <clears throat> good job, and you get a license level up, so. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. I can yeah. finally be done with the freaking Barbosa. <laughs> So we'll be uh, we'll be doing that office stream, but uh, yeah, if you want to do reintroductions before we go, yeah, um, that was an explosive outro. Uh, oh, yeah. Elise, <laughs> if you want to start us off, where where you can be found, what you do, all that good stuff. Sure, sure. Hello, everybody. I am Elise at Illustrate on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I am an artist helping other artists make more time for creativity and improve their art skills. Sign up for my newsletter and read my blog for those free lessons and tools. Uh, I'm playing some Gimarova, Call Sign Ogre, and the big old Baylor that always just takes a nice, mean old whooping. Yep. 15 you structured like every session. <laughs> it means you're doing your job as party tank, and we're all very Yeah. Proud. Yeah. Like, ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here, Elise. Much love, dude. Always Thank you for having me. I enjoy being here. Oh yeah, dude. We love having you. Omni, what's up, man? Hello, everyone. I'm the last Alvin Tech, your favorite robot American. And I do art, world building, and rules crafting on my channel. Uh, same as my name, twitch.tv slash the last Alvin Tech. I stream 10.30 a.m. EST on Thursdays and Saturdays. And starting this Wednesday, I'm going to be streaming later on the app around, like, I would assume 2 p.m. EST is going to be safe. I don't know for sure, because my normal time slot is going to be taken up with me playing on another stream. So I'm going to be playing a campaign on Alakazam's channel Let's on Wednesdays go. at 10.30. I'm super excited. Ooh. I can't say what it is yet. Alec hasn't dropped the formal thing, but as he's put it, quote, there are whales involved. Oh, you yeah. know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. He's, he's all but saying what it is. Like, he's yeah, like the, best, <laughs> the thickest of hints. Yeah, Check out Bogus Cheesecake for more information. <laughs> right. I'm super excited for it. You guys can also find me here and on Red's channel for various games. 
It's a pleasure to be here as always. I love playing Gen Train. I love playing with all you dorks. You're all incredible. Mm -hmm. so, How else dare you? I'm more. not a dork. I'm a dweeb. <laughs> okay, fine. Dweeb. I don't want to mess up your identity. And mm -hmm. I also, it's two weeks from now, I think. Two weeks? No, not two weeks. Three weeks. Three so. Wednesdays later from this week, we will be playing Mouse Guard, Mouse Guard. on Wednesday evenings. Yes. And it'll be every other week. So stay tuned, folks, for more mousy action. Oh, yeah. Cannot wait. Thank you, Omni. Thank you for being here, dude. Much love. Can't wait for Mouse Guard. It's going to be a blast. Always a pleasure. Sorry, just to double check, when you say three weeks from now, is that July 6th? Uh, let me take a look in my handy dandy cap my handy calendar. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm so uh, It is not the 6th, but yes, it, it is going to be the 6th. Okay, perfect. It uh, should be the 6th, yeah, the 22nd and the 29th. It's, uh, it's dark like heresy, it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Dark Heresy because we're doing back to back catch ups. Unless and someone else has another dentist done. appointment. Yeah. So what? Said so unless somebody else has a dentist appointment. Right. <laughs> well, then they can find another time slot to push it back into. Yeah, we're, using we're, we're not. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that. No, it's not you, Natalie. It's one of the one of the players from no. Dark Heresy. We, we pushed it back because they had an appointment that they forgot about until like the day of, and they yeah. could not get pushed back. And we were like, okay. It's a non-problem, because the sixth is mine, and every yeah. other week will also be mine, and that's how it's going to be forever and ever. Yep. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Basically. Love you guys. Love you, man. <laughs> Natalie. Me, Natalie. Uh, you can catch me here playing Lancer and Covet Syndicate. And like Omni said, um, starting July 6th, we'll be playing Mouse Guard every other Wednesday. Um, other than that, you can find me on Twitter at Beans, where I occasionally post art. I'm trying to get better about posting more frequently, but I'm a slow drawer, so it takes a while. Got a lot of stuff going on. That is such a it. mood. Right? <laughs> I wish they're all going to do, like, a drawing a week or, you know, just do it faster than I am. But I like to do my stuff really detailed, so that is a kind of a double-edged sword. Start streaming your art. I promise you, before you know it, you'll be cranking out an art piece of session mm -hmm. and hating yourself. When I have a, a rig to do that, unfortunately, I don't think that my uh, a crappy MacBook Air could handle that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's me. All right. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Love you. Thank you for being yeah. here. Of course. <laughs> Red, what's yes. up? I don't know. <laughs> I'm Red. I, uh, I'm a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a streamer yeah, right. uh, here on Twitch. Uh, I stream uh, kind of probably Sunday, Monday, if I feel like it. Probably going to do just some chill streams. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I stream on Wednesdays. Uh, do free stuff. Uh, every other Thursday I do Cyberpunk Red. Not this coming Thursday, but the Thursday after that uh, will be our next session of Cyberpunk Red, episode four. Um, we had a really great session last session. Uh, I was sorry, Mr. Amazing it. stuff. Yeah, it was so good. Uh, FOD's up. Uh, so... Uh, but yeah, if, if you if you missed it, check it out. Uh, Fridays, I sometimes stream. I'm probably gonna get back to streaming magic. I haven't streamed magic in a while now. Uh, I'm working on painting too, just like Natalie, uh, and uh, trying to get better. But uh, let's see. Saturdays, I'm always here, obviously. So, uh, yeah. oh, I got a book. Go read. Um, yeah, I got a lot of projects in the works that I won't talk about right now. But ooh, project. <laughs> nice. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you for being here, Red. Love you, dude. Thank you for running such a great game. Can't wait for more Lancer. I love Lancer. This was so much fun of a session. Uh, Definitely. I I don't want it to sound any kind of way, but like I've been like super low energy. Like it's felt like the past two weeks, but like today I've felt like consistently my energy has been pretty high, and that's been because like the game I've been playing have been like fucking fun. So like Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks to Happy you to and thanks to Paul for putting on such great fucking games, you know? Paul's good people. Paul's good people. Uh, we are going to be raiding into... Uh, let's see here. Um, 
Grim and Perilius plays. I do not know who they are, but they are playing some game that is called Heart, the City Beneath. So it looks like it's probably something indie, and that sounds rad. We want to promote that. <clears throat> oh, they just went down. Damn it. Okay, then we're just going to raid... Drinky Fox. Into... Yeah, Drinky Fox. We're, we'll raid Drinky Fox. We raid him pretty regularly on Saturdays when we play. Yeah, he's good people. Um, so we're going to raid into Drinky Fox. He'll stick around for that. Uh, I'm going to be streaming um nothing tomorrow i'm off tomorrow it's father's day and we're not streaming tomorrow so no stream tomorrow um curse of strahd rise of alma on monday at you know our normal like we we've been starting like five six we've been usually starting so i'd say probably like six uh we are in the end game of that by the way um <clears throat> very did not mean to make 12. Very triggering kind of episode last uh, last session, uh, right. to be quite honest with you. It was very heavy, it was very dark, but um, Head's a vampire now. And for those of you who know what's in that module, you know what you have to do to become a vampire. And I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that doesn't know, because it's very good, and I recommend you playing it. Um, playing it. But yeah, it, it was sad. So that did psychic damage, still recovering from that one. Um... But I'm really excited because we're going into Castle Ravenloft tomorrow and we're like going after the Sun Sword and then immediately going after Strahd. So it's going to be fucking lit. Um, uh, really excited great. about that. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, Dark Heresy, Path of Contrition on Wednesday. Um, and then on Friday, Saints and Sinners at 7, uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then next Saturday <clears throat> at... I feel like I have something going on at 12.30 next Saturday, but I could be mistaken. I could be misremembering because of mouse guard, so I, I need to double check on my schedule on that to make sure that I'm not leaving something important out. But, uh, Covet Syndicate next Saturday. We are going to be yes. really starting on the next arc. We are going to be, uh, we're going to be seeing some cool shit. We're going to be getting into some, some intrigue and some shenanigans, and I'm really excited because the intrigue system that's in uh, Kingdoms and Warfare is pretty cool stuff it gives you some narrative tools to kind of like come up with some pretty cool stuff so i'm really excited to use it i haven't gotten to use it yet um it'll be fun but yeah that's it for tonight love you guys thank y'all for being here and uh we will see y'all tomorrow nope god damn it i'm used to saying that we'll see y'all <laughs> monday for curse of Strahd. <laughs> love y'all good night peace man